Okay, a quick live commentary. I say quick, but yeah. Uh, the zone commentary, Fight Camp Week 3, headlined by Joshua Boazzi versus Ricardo Bolotniks. And we shall be doing some commentary. So there we go. First fight is Cash Farouk versus some random Mexican, who apparently is deaf and mute. So that's going to bode well. But um, yeah, I like watching Cash Farouk fight. So we shall see. We shall see. But yeah, big up to uh, James in the house. I've got Boazzi, probably late stoppage, I would say. Uh, to be honest with you, James, it's not really a great card. Um, I've, I've just got nothing better to do, mate, to tell you the truth. But I do like watching Cash Farouk fight. I, I do like him. He's got a good style to watch. So he's the first fight. As I said, he's fighting a Mexican who is deaf and mute. So there you go. Okay. What are you guys drinking tonight? I'm drinking some of the old uh, brew dog. Have a couple of drinks. Wet our whistle. Beautiful. Big up to Fight Media. Salute to you, sir. So, yeah, it's Cash Farouk versus Gerardo Castillo. Castillo has a decent record. 28 wins, 2 defeats, 18 KOs. But he's not really fought anybody of any consequence. So, we'll see how good he is. Yeah, they're just warming up at the minute. Exactly, Toby. Yeah, death and mute. Only a matchroom card. Incredible story, yeah. Yeah, I, do you know what? I hope he does well. I hope he does well. But that, it doesn't really bode well, does it? What next? A fucking one-armed boxer. Where's Savannah Marshall, Felix Cash, Zelfa Barrett? Yeah, I know. I, I was... I was hoping that Felix Cash would get a decent fight, but there you go. I mean, he's coming off a really good win. But anyway, yeah, they're touching gloves. How's this guy going to fucking understand what the ref's saying? Because he can't fucking hear. But anyway, we have Cash Farouk. The fight starts. Yeah, both guys are just standard orthodox fighters. Cash Farouk starting well with his jab. Um, staying a bit lower. Gerardo's quite upright, throwing his jab. But yeah, Cash Farouk starting quite quickly with his jab, which is good to see. Varying it from body to head. This Gerardo Castillo guy doesn't look the quickest, but he's a pretty big lump for the weight. Bigger than Cash Farouk, so good right hand by Cash Farouk over the low jab hand of Castillo. A oh, great uppercut by Farouk through the, min uh, through the middle. Castillo tries the right hand. Yeah, Castillo, not the quickest puncher. Not the quickest. Although he lands one there. Nice right hand uppercut combo from Cash Farouk. Ah, oh, lovely right hand by Farouk. He's finding a home for his right hand because Castillo, his jab hand is really low. So it's just the right hand's connecting to the chin when he commits. That's a pretty good start by Cash Farouk. Staying nice and low, trying to get under the jab. Lovely right hand again by Farouk. 
when I watch Cash Farouk fight, I always think the guy is super skillful. Um, but I think his problem is going to be his power. But he's got a lot of ability. I quite like watching him fight. That's a good right hand, though, by Castillo. Just caught Cash Farouk slipping there, getting a bit lazy. Again, low, low lead hand gets caught with a right hand. See, I want to see Cash Farouk fight a lot more regularly on Matchroom, but... He's not one of their priorities right now, as it seems. But yeah, Castillo's throwing punches. He's missing most of them, but he's throwing. A lot of great... Oh, lovely head movement by Farouk. Slipping a jab, slipping the right hand. That's beautiful, but you need to be punching off that when you slip the jab and slip the right hand. He needs to be punching off that. Lovely right hand by Farouk. Nice right hand by Castillo. Pretty decent opening round, but Farouk, for me, done more than enough in round one. There you go. Round one's over. How the fuck do you get a boxing license when you, can't, when you are lacking the ability to hear or speak? Main event is like, what, I would say 10 p.m., half nine, something like that. Do you know what, James? I've actually got the zone, 199. I've got it. And I watched the Virgil Ortiz fight tonight. <clears throat> yeah, Farouk has no power as a consumer. He's a bit dull. I like his style, but you're right. His power is is a bit lacking. If, if Cash Farouk had real, like, world-level power... That guy would be a fucking problem, in my opinion. Yeah, I've, I heard about it, uh, Fight Media. I've not seen the fight, though, so I can't really comment too much. But, I, you know, I, I take everyone's word for it, really. But I've not seen it myself. Big up to Mad Chad in the building. Round two's about to start. <clears throat> Again, Cash Farouk just working the jab, rocking the head back of Castillo. I want to see Cash Farouk start investing to that body. There you, there you go. As I said, that straight right to the body. And again, well, that, that was a bit uh, a bit blocked, but <clears throat> because Castillo's a tall, rangy sort of guy, Castillo lands a sneaky right. Oh, right hand and left uppercut by Farouk. Against the ropes. Lovely. Farouk does switch off a lot in fights, man. He 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 has a guy under control, then he'll just like he'll lose he'll lose like concentration for moments and get caught. Nice slipping by Cash Farouk. Lovely defense. That's what I'm saying. You'll see Cash Farouk like slip a three punch combination, not get caught by one shot. And then all of a sudden he'll like just lose concentration and get caught by a silly right hand. He's not consistent, but he's got a lot of ability, Cash Farouk. In my opinion, I like watching him fight. He reminds me of Regis Progress if Progress didn't have much power. That's what he reminds me of. Lovely right hand by Farouk. Nice right by Castillo. Little short right in the clinch. But yeah, only only Matchroom could fucking find a guy who's deaf and mute as an opponent. Yeah, Cash Farouk, he can't miss with that right hand if you have a hand right. Lovely right by Cash Farouk. Right hand and slipped under. Lovely. Lovely. Great head movement by Farouk in round two. Although Castillo tries to go to the body, I think a left hand might have landed there. Castillo's in there trying, throwing shots, but not too much is getting through, apart from the odd punch here and there. Cash Farouk really has him under control right now. 
Good right again by Farouk and again. Round two's about to end. Another cash for root ground. Jesus. Castillo was punching after the bell. Obviously, he didn't hear it or couldn't hear it. <laughs> um, the, uh, the Mexican guy, Castillo. I agree, James. I like cash for root. I think he's got a lot of a lot of ability. I really enjoy watching him fight. Really, really good style to watch. Great head movement. He can work the body. Uh, good combination puncher. Good counter puncher. He, he's quite offensively gifted, Cash Farouk, in my opinion. But I like watching him fight. He's good fun. Just really the power is his downside or lack of. In and out there by Cash Farouk. Nice right hand by Farouk. And again, lead right hand. Yeah, the commentator made a good uh, a good observation. With Cash Farouk, when he leads with his right hand to the head, often he'll, he'll like take a little dip, look to the body like he's going to throw a body shot. And then he'll come over the top with a right to the head. Good setup game by Cash Farouk. But Castillo comes back and throws punches. Not much gets through, but give something um, to Farouk to think about. Nice body shot by Castillo. And they fall into a clinch and they're broken up. Oh, come on, man. Oh, lovely right by Cash Farouk. They both exchanged right hands. Farouk landed. And Castillo didn't. But Castillo, you know, Castillo is going in there giving it a good go, as Adam Smith would say. But he's not really having all that much success. Nice head movement by Farouk. A bit more of a messy round in round three. Cash Farouk's still on top, but not quite as clean with his work. Yeah, Castillo throwing a lot more punches now in round three. Not again, not much is getting through, but he's making Farouk work harder, which is good for his cause. So uh, Castillo's done better in the third round. Good left hook by Castillo. Well, half landed, I should say. Nice left hook by uh, Farouk. And a nice jab by Farouk. Third round done, a bit a bit closer, but I'd still say for Rook to be honest. Oh, Raymond Ford fought on the YouTube show. I never knew that. Did he win, James? I'm taking. I, I presume he won. I'll oh, big up to Unrivaled. Salute to Unrivaled. And by the way, check out Unrivaled. Really good channel. And if you want to jump on Unrivaled at some point, let me know. You can. More than welcome. Yeah, we've also got Michael McKinson versus Premislav. 
Renovsky on the card. That's coming up. Round four. Big up to Slime as well. Slime Entertainment. Both guys exchanged right hands there. Both landed at the same time. Yeah, Castillo is definitely upping the ante in the last sort of round or so. Now they fall into the clinch. Farouk's working the body. Castillo comes back with a right hand of the head. Oh, a lovely right hand by Farouk. Doesn't move him, though. They're really tra uh, trading right hands in this round. It's good to see. It's good to see. Oh, a lovely jab right hand by Farouk. Beautiful stuff. But, you know, Castillo marches forwards. Very raw, very wild, but he's coming forwards, throwing punches. Making Farouk work hard. Now they fall into the clinch. Farouk's holding him. Oh, nice jab by Farouk. He made um, Castillo fall short with his right hand. Caught him with a jab and span out under. Just little moves like that. Real quality. Real quality stuff. So I like, I said it so many times, but I really like watching Farouk fight. But Castillo catches him. Nice right. Farouk comes back with his own right hand. There you go. This Castillo kid looks fit. I'll tell you that much. He looks fit. He looks strong. According to various um, various reports, it looks like we're going to get Farouk versus Lee McGregor 2 after this. I think it's been ordered by the British Boxing Board of Control uh, for the British title. So we should get that fight next. That's obviously if he gets through this fight. Nice right by Castillo. Castillo throwing shots, getting slipped by Farouk. As I said, if Farouk had a bit more power. Fourth round done. I've got it four rounds to nil. Cash Farouk. Yeah, Maya Jammer's not presenting today. It's Ali Drew. Ali Drew, I think her name is. She's quite fit though, Ali Drew. I quite like her. James thinks TKO round five. Cash lights on for Rook. <laughs> Mexican beef. I look forward to Lima McGregor smashing Farouk's face in. I'm not sure, man. That first fight was real rough for uh, Lee McGregor. Farouk isn't ready, man. He's not been active enough for his style. I guess that's McGregor's chance to beat him clearly. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But having said that, I don't think Lee McGregor looked good in his last fight. I know he won it by a fourth round stoppage, but he got dropped. He was getting outboxed and, ev and eventually he got the knockout. But I don't think he looked great in that fight. That'd be an interesting rematch. Has to happen in my opinion. Oh, a lovely right hand by Farouk. Farouk... Um, Farouk changing his attack with his jab to the body. He's jabbing to the body now, so I'm assuming a right hand's going to come over the top any moment. We shall see. 
Yeah, there you go. He tries a right hand over the top. Farouk started round five well. Castillo's gone down a few times, like in clinches, and like when it's got rough, he's just like hit the decks a few times. It's getting a bit, a little bit annoying. Uh, it's getting a bit annoying, I should say. Castillo's missing quite badly in round five. Cast uh, Farouk's just boxing him in a minute. But Farouk at times hasn't been super accurate. Yeah, he has missed a fair few shots. And they fall into the clinch. Round five, a bit, a bit messy. Nice left hook by Farouk. Little short left hook up close. Ah, uh, uppercut by Farouk. Lovely. Body shot by Castillo. Not much happening right now. Castillo's just really missing and not really doing too much. He's trying, but he's he's not effective. Farouk's holding him now. Clinching him. They get broken up. And they resume the action. Castillo lands a couple of body shots. Nice right hand by Castillo. He caught, he caught Farouk there in, in the exchange. Round five, pretty competitive. Farouk would be pound for pound if he had a tiny bit of power. G-Man has the major horn for Ali Drew. I like her as well, man. Exactly, damn right. Big up to G-Man as well, by the way. A cash Farouk in full condition overwhelms him like last time. Farouk brings the volume. I agree. He's got a lot of ability, Cash Farouk. But, but you, yeah, he, he just needs to put it all together. Like this is one of those fights where he's he's shown signs of real quality. Some lovely defensive work when he slips punches, great counter <clears throat> sorry, great counters, great combinations. But other times he'll he'll switch off and get caught by silly shots, you know. Really, this is the sort of fight he needs to be putting an exclamation mark on. Do you know what I mean? Like scoring a good knockout in an ideal world. Lovely jab by Farouk. Lovely. Just changing the levels of it. Jab to the head, jab to the body. Beautiful. Farouk actually pushes Castillo on the ropes, tries to get some body shots in, but they fall into the clinch. And they're, re they're reset. Nice jab by Castillo. He's a tough kid, Castillo. I'll give him that. He's come in good condition. But just not that effective. Body work by Farouk. That's what I want to see. But now Castillo comes back to the body. Some hard-looking shots, you know. Good work by Castillo. Not all of it got through, but it was... They were shots thrown with purpose. Nice jab again by Farouk, man. That jab, there's no tell on that jab whatsoever. It's beautiful. Just rocking the head back. Wonderful shot. Farouk's actually trying to be a bit more aggressive in this round. He's trying to force Castillo back, put him on the ropes, work the body. 
But yeah, they fall into a clinch. Ah, oh, lovely jab right hand by Farouk. A quick combination, lovely. Beautiful stuff. Ah, oh, lovely right hand over the top by Farouk. Again, he was jabbing to the body earlier and he looked like he was going to do it again, but he, he kind of dipped low, come over the top with the overhand right. Great setup. Castillo lands a couple of short right hands. Decent little round, round six. Uh, Farouk trading with Castillo there, gets the better of it. Nice jab by Castillo. Farouk's got a bit of, sorry, Castillo's got some marking under his right eye. And Farouk's got a bit of blood on his right cheek. I'm not sure whether that's coming from the eye, like the lower eye. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Don't see any cuts, I just, I just see blood. Okay, let's have a look at, in the corner. See what we can see. Yeah, Diamante's a clown. A uh, bump of K. Yeah, very, very one-paced. Very one-paced. Farouk clearly beat Lee McGregor. I agree. Not clearly. I thought it was close, actually. Fight camp is garbage. How many people in the UK do you think are watching this? Less than 20,000, in my opinion. I would say so, yeah. yeah. This is the worst one out of a lot, uh, Patrick. Out of, all, out of all of these cards. Farouk is a boring dweeb. Face facts. I think he's a good fighter to watch, man. Cash Farouk. He's a good fighter to watch. Again, it's just for lack of power. If he hit hard, the guy would be a problem. And big up to uh, Bruce Goes, by the way. Nice talking to you on Mark's stream last night, man. Salute to yourself, man. Salute. We are now in round seven. Castillo trying to start the round with purpose. Looking for his right hand, but falling drastically short. And Farouk catches him with a left hook. A lovely jab to the body in right hand over the top by Farouk. Lovely. That's that, I love that combination. The jab to the body, come over the top with the overhand right. Beautiful stuff. And now they fall into the clinch. Right hand, left hook by Farouk. And now Farouk decides to take a little move around the ring. Keep it at a distance. Castillo's landed a couple of like clubbing shots in this round, but nothing too crazy. Nice body shots by Farouk. Lovely left hook. Lovely jab by Farouk. Jab by Castillo. I can't fault Castillo's effort. Nice left hook there by by um, Castillo. And he needs more of that. Castillo's problem as well, he can't punch coming forwards. He needs to be stationary when he's punching. And that's a problem for him. Very one-dimensional, uh, Castillo. Lovely jab by Farouk. Nice right by Castillo. Lovely. That's a good shot. To be honest, at times, both guys have been pretty 
uh, inaccurate with their punches. More so with Castillo, but... Cash Farouk just having a little walk around now, putting a jab. Pretty, uh, pretty competitive round, round seven. But again, I'd say Farouk's won it. I, I, I've, I've got Farouk winning all seven rounds, to be honest. Oh, no worries, brother. I'll, um, I'll drop you a link on, uh, what do you call it? Fuck, what do you call it? Do you know the thing? Discord. I'll get there in the end. Got to find you now, man. Fuck. I've got to have to do it. One second. <laughs> ah, here you go. I've sent you a link on Discord. This looks like Fight Zone, yeah, in the back of a car park. Nice stuff there by um, Castillo. Well, he's trying at least. Not much got through, but he's trying. Changing the levels with a jab there, Cash Farouk. Body to head, head to body. It's lovely stuff. Good body shot by Castillo, left hook to the body. Left hook to the body by Farouk. And they fall into the clinch. Oh, a lovely double right hand by Farouk. Rocking the head back, but again, not hurt at all, Castillo. Yes, big up to Mark. <clears throat> Yo, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Sound you sound crystal. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, man. man you got a new mic? Uh, no, I'm using the Blue Yeti. Yeah, it sounds so good. Some, sometimes I use the phone, but like if I'm going onto somebody's panel to do like talk and do commentary, always be respectful. You know what I mean? It sounds crystal, mate. Crystal clear. Some good stuff. Let me just lower the volume on it a tad so I don't pick up any background noise. Am I good? Am I still good? Oh yeah, you're good. Yeah, awesome. Um, and this has been fun, a very fun for you. Yeah, it's it's one of those, it's one sided, but like Castillo's always trying kind of thing. He's making it watchable. Do you know what I mean? I gave him the seventh. I gave him the seventh. Yeah, seventh was pretty competitive. Maybe a pity round, but I gave it on. I've got it six one. Oof, lovely left hook. Nice right, bike for Rook. Where are you what? right now? How many seconds? 52 seconds, 51 seconds, 50 seconds. Okay. I'll sync with you, right? I'm at 43. Tell me when you do. I am there. Perfect. Synced. Lovely left hook there from uh, from Farouk on the torn. Oh, nice one too. Got caught though. He's yeah, getting he touched, caught. Farouk. He is, He's getting... he is. Yeah. I am liking his jab, man. There's so much, like, there's no tell. You can't tell his yeah. jab. You can't read it. And he's so varied with it. Head yeah. and body. He'll faint the jab, come over the top of the right hand. He's, he's, Cash Farouk to me, man, he's, he, he shows signs of, like, super quality, in my opinion. Just, like, like real good setups, some nice combos, good counters. But he never, like... He never stamps his authority on a fight fully. Do you know what I mean? He never, he never exemplifies. Like he, yeah. he never, he never puts that. Like you said, stamp. He never says, "Oh yeah, that's my round." You know what I mean? Even though it is, it's like I don't know how to describe. It. Some ways, it's a bit like Bivol. There's no exclamation points. It's just boxing. Yeah, he needs to. I don't know, but I, I like, I do like watching him. But oh. what I don't like is how often he's gone for the 1-2 upstairs, right? When the body's completely open. 
when he yeah, has he, that option yeah. to slow his opponent down. Usually he's a pretty good body puncher, but in this fight, for whatever reason, he's kind of abandoned it's, it. It's just head hunting. All headshots, and I think he's actually been trying to go for the stoppage because look at how aggressive a lot of the shots are. Like how yeah. much are. He's putting a lot into them. He's punching in bunches. He's letting his hands go a lot, which tells me it's not just about winning points. He, he wants to stop this dude. He just doesn't have the power to do it. Yeah, I think that's what he's probably thinking. He's he's probably been hearing the criticism like recently about lack of power. He probably wants to prove that wrong, I guess. And yeah, he, he's he's definitely head hunting for Rook. He's had good defense so far in this ninth round. Every shot Castillo threw there, he missed every one of them. That's the thing, though, isn't it? Like, like you'll see this guy slip a like a full punch combination every single punch, and then he'll get caught by a dumb shot. Yeah, kind of thing. I think it's admiration of work. You know what I mean? Because like that's normally like he'll throw a two three, one two three, and then bam, he gets caught when he shouldn't. When he's thrown in singles, he's fine. See. Not getting cut. Lovely, look. yeah. Half parries and everything. Lovely stuff. That jab's nice, man. Just pushes it right into his face. Where are you in the round, by the way? Uh, 158, 7, 6. I'm a bit ahead of you because my stream froze. Where are you? I am. Hang on. 144. Okay. I'll pause it. Hang on. No, it's okay, mate. Like, I'm at 136 now. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, about that. That's, that's all right. I might be ahead of you now because I skipped forward. <laughs> yeah, my design, paused. my thing fucking froze. So I had to reset it. Fucking thing. That does be annoying that they do the instant, like, in, yeah. between, in the rounds. What they should do is they should allow, like, they should tell you how many seconds you're behind, and then when you get into the corner, you can skip up. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's a lovely jab nice feature. Lovely, lovely jab by Farouk. And, and, again. The, and the left hook off of it is nice. Yeah, that left, well. that left off a jab. Yep. <laughs> Good defense, getting his head out of the way there. He's keeping his opponent. I've guard. got to give it up. I've got to give it up to uh, Castillo. He's come there and tried. Like for a guy He's... who's fucking deaf and mute. Can't hate on the guy. He's an inspiration, isn't he? Considering, yeah. like, I find it inspirational how he got a license. Yeah, tell me about it. Like, how do you get a license when <laughs> you can't speak or near? Tell you what, he has got though. He's got a decent chin by the looks of it. I know Farouk's not a big puncher, but still, still took some good shots. Do you know why he's got such a good chin? Go on, because he's never been able to complain. <laughs> Oh, dear. Yeah, pretty dominant round by Farouk. He's pretty much bossed it in round nine. 8 one, nine, all kind of fight. Yeah. And that one round is generous. It is generous. Oh, he's hurt Check. his eye. Castillo, he's touching his eye. Mm. I, think he's, uh, I think he got butted at the end of that round. Um, Dan, I think it's about probably 10 o'clock, I would say, Bolotnik's main event. Are you doing the full card, though? I think I will, yeah. That's so so rare for you. You never do the full card. Yeah, I thought, fuck it. I've got nothing better to do, man. <laughs> so why not? What what fight's on after this one? Have we got a nice shot? I think it's um, Michael McKinson. So not, not, yeah, not the greatest to watch, is he? Bit of a feather duster, man, old Michael McKinson. Okay, uh, according to James, Barazzi fights the world title eliminator. I never knew that. I didn't didn't check, to be fair. Is it? It might be an eliminator, but an eliminator... Yeah, exactly. More than likely, anything. yeah. Not a final, probably, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, they Matchroom have that WBA division pretty much all in house to themselves, don't mm, they? I do. I mean, <laughs> yo, Castillo's missing everything, gents. I know. In case you're wondering. She had a double jab a minute ago by Farouk, man. That's lovely. Oh, yeah. I'm here at 229, by the way. So. Yeah, I'm like a second behind. I'm a, that's, that'll do me. That's all right. 
that left hook. And that left hook. <laughs> Good stuff, but, man. Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't the worst for you. You know, I was expecting it to be a little bit more... Uh, Dull. Worse. Yeah. It's fun for what it is, isn't it? It's a, it's a fun one-sided fight. Lovely jab by Farouk there. And again... Like, oh, I, wasn't ex I wasn't expecting much from it. Now they're fucking mauling and clinching. Break, yeah. What I do like, though, I hope Castillo makes it the distance because I had Farouk in the prediction league on points. Yeah, that's a safe bet. I can't see him getting knocked out now. Unless it's a British stoppage. It's a nice couple of punches there from Farouk. Yeah, two good right hands. And a left hook. It's partially landed, but... Nice left hook again there by Farouk. Both guys exchanged left hooks and Farouk's got the nice jab to the body, jab to the head, and the right hand as well. Much closer round, though, than the ninth, because Castillo's landed some punches. Yeah, he's, he's thrown a few. He's caught him a couple of times. Nice jab there by Castillo. Lovely right hand by Farouk. Both guys maul on the inside. I gotta be honest with you, Dell. This lad doesn't excite me in terms of a world level fighter. No, he doesn't. No, that's what I was saying earlier. He's got a lot of ability, but that lack of power, man. Which division is this at? One eighteen, twenty two, or twenty six? One eighteen. So this is Bantamway. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 He needs a power, man. That, that division's got fucking killers in it. Yeah. You, like, see some of those shots that has landed on him by Castillo. Like, just to put pen to paper, like, Poyano might have taken him out with those. Mm. Poyano ain't a killer, you know what I mean? No, exactly. That division is stacked. Even, like you say, like the fringe contenders, they're of a good standard, so... Poyano would outbox yeah. him. Poyano would actually outbox him, yeah, yeah. I don't think he can box with those level of guys. Like, who do you put him in next with, like, if you could pick anybody, like... McGregor. You want the rematch between Lee? Lee yeah, Lee? I think that makes sense. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a fun. The first one was fun. We watched it together. We had the same. We were a point apart, I think. Yeah, I think I had it 7-5, I think. Yeah. Farouk. I think I had it 6-5 one even, I think. So I, I'm, I'm, I do do even rounds, you know? I do only occasionally. Usually I don't, just because I can't be asked to jot it all up, but... Okay, so it's a WBA total eliminator under the zone graphics. Okay. 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 Well, still, what does that mean? Yeah, is it for a regular? Is it for the regular title though? I, I've got no fucking idea. Even even then, it doesn't mean that, and because like a title eliminator can just mean, oh yeah, this is a title eliminator, and then you can have another and another. It's not a final eliminator. Does it say final eliminator on the graphics? That's more interesting. I don't think so. And even then, I would assume it'd be for the regular belt because that shit's gone vacant, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because mate, he got fucking. Uh, yeah, mate, he got stripped, didn't he? Jean Pascal. Stripped, Jean Pascal. <laughs> stripped. <laughs> he got kicked out. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Big up to Carlos Mendoza. Am I going to do commentary for the later cards? No, not tonight. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. Same. No chance. No chance. The main reason why, though, right, is because when I have that many cards on, you know I stay up, right? So when I have that many cards on, I jump from card to card. So I wouldn't be able yeah. to give them the card. I can't put all three cards down and say full card commentary. Yeah. <laughs> Com commentate every single fucking fight. Could you imagine me? I, I just put three screens up in front of me and it. I'm like, great job from Franco. What a right hand from Virgil Ortiz. Oh, my God. Casemiro's unconscious. <laughs> Jim, uh, Roley, uh, sorry. Weiss and Jury, Roley should retire. No. I disagree. You, you don't realize it right now. Roley Romero is not the hero that you deserve, but he's the hero you need right now. He's good fun for what he is, man. He's a fucking joke. He's, he's, he's funny as fuck, man. I mean, people are making fun of him and stuff, right, Dale? 
But let's mm. be real. He's not the worst fighter of all time. Look, I understand the skills the, that he has a lot of flaws, right? Oh, Anthony Yiga isn't isn't the worst person you can fight. I mean, I, I mean, arguably, uh, he he got a better result than fucking Baranchik. Nah, nah. Because Yiga on was paper, in his prime and left I, I know, but Tomer. like on paper, I'm talking. You get left with Hematoma. He did, yeah, he did. He looked like a fucking alien. I feel so sorry for Farouk and Castillo. Did you see the way Farouk was just looking at him there, not knowing whether or not he should walk up to him and be like, great job, buddy? Because yeah. he can't, he can't, he doesn't know if he can hear him and he can't respond to him. <laughs> <laughs> so weird, man. I don't, uh, as you said, I've got, I've got no idea how that guy had a fucking license. Like, what next? Fucking one armed boxer. Ridiculous, man. Oh, fuck off, Tony Bell, you, you prick. I have I don't have the sound on, mate. Oh, God. Let's turn the sound on. I'll turn the sound on. Tell me. Do you hear it? No. Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, look who it is. Is this Matchroom's newest signing? Blatantly, yeah, blatantly. Going to sign with Matchroom. Ben, ben Whitaker. That's blatant right now. There you go, fellas. Exclusive. Exclusive right here on Blue Collar Sports TV. Matchroom will sign <laughs> Ben Whitaker. Uh, what do you think of Laura Woods? Would you give her one? Yeah. Yeah, she's she's all right, you know. She's not too bad at all. I reckon Bit she's milk. nice. I reckon she's nice, you know. Yeah. It's weird that you're calling her a MILF, though. She's only like 25, isn't she? No, she ain't. She's older than 25, Laura Woods. No, she's like 25. No, she's not. She looks so older than me. She's 25, I think, man. I'm going to have to Google it. <sighs> nah, I'm trolling. I don't know what age she, she is. She, she must be like 30, 38, I think. 38? Oh, I, can't be, I can't see that now. She looks in her 20s, mate. 34. Is she really? Yeah. That's that's MILF territory, isn't it? She looks all right to me. She's not fat enough. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I went a bit further. Yeah, I guess she's in the MILF territory. What do you think of Ben Whitaker's new hair? He looks like an idiot. It's fucking the top clown. of his... It looks like he wants to be like the box in Takeshi 6 9 He does, doesn't he? Yeah. My man's out here looking like Chris Brown. Look at this guy. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, fake cone gaming had it nine rounds to one, same as Mark. Yeah. We're in agreement, Cone. We're in agreement. Yeah, bump of case at 29. Yeah. Volts UK, he says, Laura Woods, Ali Drew, fuck Maya Jammer. I'm presuming that's what that means. Okay. I fuck all, all three of them can get it. All three <laughs> of them, and I'll give it to you in this order. From three to one. Ali Drew, Laura Woods, Maya. Mm. You'd go, you'd go, uh, you'd go Laura Woods, then Ali Drew, then Maya, right? Three to one. I'd, I'd go Maya. No, my, you have Maya in third place. Nah. That's what that means. Reverse <laughs> order, mate. No, I'm going to go number one, Maya Jammer. Number two, Ali Drew. And the third is Laura Woods. I've got the third being Ali Drew. Dan Laura. Dan Ali. Dan Maya. Dan Maya. See, I reckon Ali Drew's fucking filthy. I reckon Laura Woods is. I went on to her Instagram and she was wearing a shower dress and she was riding around on somebody's back while she was drunk with the scruffy heels on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what you I like. Got, and I know I didn't see no line on the back of that dress. It's <laughs> all I'm uh, saying, man. Look, you can tell, man. Look. J Dev, I'm going to enjoy hating on Ben Whitaker, annoying prick. He's going to rub people the wrong way. Oh, I'm he... going to lo- I'm going to love his career, man. I, he's going to be mad. He's going to be also awesome. like because he's going to be 
annoying in the ring and annoying outside of it and everybody's gonna be annoyed yep he's gonna make money he'll make money i don't think he's too bad to be honest he's, he's a bit cringy but he's all right only thing i don't like about him he looks a bit effeminate I'll be honest. I don't really look to see if a man looks effeminate or not. <laughs> no, he looks a bit sus. Are you saying that he looks... When you say effeminate, do you mean... Do you mean, like, he looks like he could be a girl? Or do you mean, like, he looks like... He, he looks like Kel Brook's best friend? Kel Brook's best friend. Right. I said that in a very good way, I think. There you go. Oh, Hopi Price, he's fighting some unbeaten dude. The dude who's fighting actually had a World Boxing Super Series fight, or World Series of Boxing. Wait, fight, what? So. Are you serious? Yeah, oh, yeah. I haven't looked at this card at all, so give me a minute. Some random eye tie. Hopi Price. He's such a prick, he is, that fucking David Diamante. I'm sorry. That guy's a fucking scruff bag. Look at the state of him. Oh, look at this fella. He looks rough, you know. He looks more Turkish than fucking Italian. Looks like a good barber. That's what I'm saying. You got shout out to the Turkish man. There's nobody who can cut hair Claudio like Turkish. Gran Claudio Grande. Hmm. Who did he fight? He fought William William Carley in the World Series of Boxing. Okay. So he's, if he's been in that, he can't be awful. Yeah, you can be. I don't. I don't like that narrative, and that's not on you, right? I don't like the narrative. You can't be awful if you've been in the World Series of Boxing because a lot of them were top tier amateurs, and then there was a lot of filler fights from other countries because they were doing nation leagues as well for money. So there was okay. like multiple different things. So you could get absolute scruff bags in there, like dudes who went zero and eight, and then they you look at their amateur record and they were like two on one. You know what I mean? And this dude yeah. went one and five in the amateurs, Grande. Uh, this guy's a. I want this guy to get knocked out. This Hopi Price guy. He's using the same entrance as Billy Joe Saunders when he fought Canelo. So I want him to get knocked out. Cunt. I didn't even know what Billy Joe answered to. Big up on the super chat to Tony Boswell, by the way. Oh. See, this is why Mark's here, man. Salute to Mark. Yeah, big up to Tony Boswell. Much respect to Blue Collar Sports and the chat. Stopped in to show support and hit the like button. Much appreciated, bro. Much appreciated. It keeps the likes on, keeps the channel the channel going. And if you guys could smash the like, would be much appreciated. Would be much appreciated. Steven Schneider, I'm on my eighth account this year. What, for YouTube? You're not that controversial, I didn't think. Diamante definitely got some dirty info on the Hearns to get these shows. I don't rate him, to be honest, as an announcer. He's no announcer. Jimmy Lennon. Yeah, he's Lennon. no Jimmy Lennon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Diamante probably has a strong neck. Neck. Uh, he stinks, man, honestly. Honestly. <laughs> I'm just going to keep... I'm just going to keep doing that, man. I remember the last time somebody said, what do you think of David Diamante? I just went Diamante. Look just at this ref. Who's the ref? Mark Bates. Oh, shit, really? The guy looks like he's like two pork, pie, two pork pies away from a heart attack, man. His complexion isn't good. It's weird seeing Mark Bates here. He's a small, a small hall guy. <laughs> Trainer, man. <laughs> he, looks like, he looks like a mad scientist you know <laughs> yeah a guy like smokes 40 a day do you know what he looks like mate tell me he doesn't you know back to the future Chris yeah he does. he does <laughs> oh my god yo marty's about to pull out the fuck <laughs> <laughs> sure the fucking came in on the fucking delorean oh. I hate, I hate, I hate to look at him. I hate to look at him. 
he does seem a bit of a cunt, doesn't he? It's not about that, man. Like, he looks a bit like you, but like... <laughs> Fuck off. Anybody <laughs> who's got... For anyone who doesn't know, there's a run joke. Anybody who has a hairline, I just say they look like that. Yeah, this guy... Uh, to be honest with you, I've not really seen too much of Hopi. I've seen a little bit, but... Do you know what I'd do if I was in a clench with him? I'd put my hand on the top of his head and rub his hair completely out of place. Just see how far along down it goes and see if it starts blocking up his eyes. Do you get what I mean? That's a good shout. The amount they looking like a crip walking whoopie, whoopie Goldberg. Like, what the hell? He can barely get out of the ropes, man. Did you see how slowly he walked yeah. in the ropes? Do you know why? Go on. Just keep that jug in balance. Right, here we go. Okay. Hope you're leading with the jab while both guys are pouring. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like Grande is going to try and swarm. Yeah. At least he has a game plan. Well, he's got to really, any. I mean, the height and reach difference here is fucking. Fucking ridiculous for this mm. way. Nice Come right to the body. That. Yeah. The left. Hope you better watch that left. I saw him shift into that, man. I like how, I like that he's working in the clinch, Grande. As Hope he was holding him. The ref looks like Jim Wee from behind. He does. <laughs> I think Hope he's going to be one of these guys. It's early impressions, but um one of those guys, he looks stylish, but I think it's more style than substance. Just the impression I get from Hopi. Wow, man, look at that. Nice right. Well, it wasn't... Mm. Grande's giving it a go, as they say, in the UK. Nice body, nice body shots by Hopi there. Left hooks or light... Was kind Hopi of, always yeah. with Matram? Yeah, he started there, I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> that was awful. Hope he really is, you know, just trying to lead off with the jab, not really doing too much. Grande is trying to mark a good left hand by Hopi. Yeah, Grande is basically just bull rushing. Yeah. Not really any method in it. I would like to see a bit of a jab. Some level changes, at least. A couple of feints before he closes. Good good right hand by Grande. Lead right hand. Cut him to the body as well. Let's see this. Yeah, Grande is doing all right. Nice right hand again by Grande. To the chest. Cons considering the reach disparity, it's mental. Yeah. Like you don't realise just how much smaller he is until Hopi stands right up, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a massive height and reach difference massive Look up nice right by grande Ooh, left left by grande this is a grande round for me nice left by hopi missed all those shots there grande I find it hard to separate them, really. Oh, like, was it, yeah, it was close. I feel Hopi landed more shots, especially like through the first two minutes. And Grande had some spirits and landed a few power shots for him. His punches seem to have more of a telling effect, whereas Hopi's in more volume. I think uh, I'd be cool on either side. I'll get, uh. Look at Connor Ben. He's looking like a GTA character. Look at him. Jeez. Who's that you sit down beside? Jeez. Yeah, I don't know. Cash. I oh, he's put some weight on Felix Cash. Fucking hell. No wonder he's not fighting. Really? Fuck. That was Felix Cash? Yeah. That he was sat down there with? Yeah. Oh, my God. I thought it was his uncle or something. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's put on a lot of weight. Didn't yes. know he blew up like that, did you? No, neither did I. No. Mm -hmm. Good to know. 
Not good signs. I marked that down as a hopey round because you know the judges gave it to him. Yeah, it's a close round. It's a close round. Grande is starting to get that distance though on land. Yeah. I'd like to see him try and use utilize Ooh, good jab. Yeah, good body right good right hand to the body by Grande. They're both mauling in the clinch, but Grande's throwing. Hope he's trying to dictate with a jab. Love both guys exchange left hands there. Now hope he's throwing in the clinch. A little bit messy, isn't it? Is this a flyaway fight or what? I don't think it's flyaway. I forgot. It's not flyaway, nah. I'll find out. I thought he was like 126, Hopi, wasn't he? It's just he's so skinny. Oh. Yeah, this is a... He, he weighed 123 and three quarters, so yeah. I guess it's a super bantam. I guess that's what they're trying to do, get down to super. So, but yeah, it's a featherweight contest. He ain't beating nobody at featherweight, man. No, I know he's very, it's very early, but... Unless he makes a massive improvement there. Yeah. He's got, he's got the amateur style still. That's better both from Hope. Yo, but Hope he landed a nice straight left of the body, but Grande came back with a few shots. Look at that. Oh. Nice left by Grande. Hope he holds on. He's not liking this. He's no, not he's liking not this. liking the roughhouse. Roughhouse tactics. That's what you've got to do against someone like this. Mm, range body shot. Yeah, lovely left hook to the body. Hope he comes back with a couple of lefts to the body. Oh. Left hand right oh, a hand lovely hand. left hand by Hopi. That's better. He got caught with a right at the same time. And he look did. at this. And, and Grande's coming back with shots. Hopi's on the ropes. I think Hopi avoided most of them. Uh, good, good effort by Grande. Jim White intervenes. He does look like Jim with like a balding Jim White. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not a bad little. It's it's a good little learning fight at this stage, isn't it? It's what you want to see. Lovely left hand by Hopi. Beautiful. Again, that's the thing. Grande's not coming in with, with a jab or he's not fainting his way and he's just maraud marauding forwards and he's going to get caught. That's a lovely left hand by Hopi. That's a Hopi round, I'd say. I actually gave the first one to Grande, to be honest, but... I have a 1-1. One, one. Uh, with 2-0 two, two Hopi. I'm cool with giving the force to Grande, by the way. I've That's a lovely left hand. That half step back, Grande comes in. Look at that half step back. Boom. Lovely shot. Duck just put out a great tweet. Go on. Great way, Hopi Price. <laughs> yeah. The zone doing no, Diamante no favors with that lighting. <laughs> Claudio with uncomfortable trunks. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Bella. Fight Media gave the first round to Price. Cone Gaming gave it to Grande. It was a close fight. Close round, sorry. Close round. Second round was uh, was definitely Hopi's. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, AA says he's a back foot fighter, but he's, he's looking very flat footed tonight. Just got caught with a body shot there. Mm. I know the transition looked okay, but he's getting caught with couple, shot, man. couple there as well. Lovely Ooh, left hook to the body. Lovely right hand to the head. Left from Hopi as well. Grande mm. landed a few shots there. Good work. That's the thing, though. A bit more subtlety from Grande. A jab coming yeah. in, some fainting, some some head movement would be, would be so much more effective. Jim White separates him. <laughs> <laughs> nice jab by Hopi little pop in the jab not much on it but mm. 
nice. Grande's coming in. Couple of cuffy, cuffing shots, sorry. <laughs> that guy's shouting, man. He's corner, man. The Italian guy. I shouting, is he? Yeah. Oh, it's great, isn't it? But the Levidi Lata. Oh, mad. Hooks to the body there by Grande. Mm. Hope he sneaked in a nice little left back to the body. But Grande's coming back. He's getting outlanded, Hopi. He is getting outlanded in this round. Lovely. He's he is evading a fair few, but the one some are getting through, especially to the body. As uh, well as it stands right now, it's it's shaping to be a Hopi round, in my opinion. Sorry, not Hopi, Grande. Sorry. Yeah, it's shaping to be a Grande round for me too, man. Like I said, first one was a swing, swang it to Hopi because I knew the judges. I know the judges will give this one to fucking probably Hopi as well, but that's some bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And also, I think it'll be a ref scoring as well, six rounder. Oh, maybe, maybe not. You never know what match room. They get selective sometimes, don't they? It's got messy towards the end of the round. It's weird. It's not an. It's not exciting, but it's relatively intriguing. Yeah. I've been enjoying it so far myself. Do you know that? I've actually been enjoying the fight. Just seeing the little sports grande lands on him in and then... Lovely. Hey, hey, hey. Nah, 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 nah. See that he turns around him. He's behind yeah. him, him from behind, man. Yeah, That's a point deduction. Come the, on. The straight left before that was lovely. Just, again, half step back. I've got a 2-1 hobby. 2-1 grande. There you go. This guy looks so fucking dopey, Michael McKinson. Like cross-eyed. Yeah, mate, I'll be back in two minutes. I'm going for a smoke, yeah? Yeah, no worries, bro. Okay, Joe Cordina's on this card as well, guys. I never knew that. Connor Ben's an embarrassment. His dad had genuine menacing presence. Connor, not so much. <laughs> Babbage like Kimbo Slice. He's good fun, Babbage. He's good fun. Yeah, I've got it 2 1 Grande as well. I've got it 2 1 Grande. But anyway, we are in round four. And Hope he is popping the jab, like tripled the jab up there. Lovely from Hope he. Good start to the round. Hope he's a bit more um, authoritative at the start of this round. Well, seems to be so far. Trying to take the front foot. You know. Not too much happens, but. Good body shot spare by Grande. And again, look into the body. Nice left by Hopi. That's been Hopi's shot in this fight. It's the straight left as um, Grande comes in. He's caught uh, Grande quite a lot coming in with that shot. As I said, Grande doesn't really change the levels. He doesn't faint his way in. I don't think I've seen Grande throw a jab in this fight. That's his problem. He's He's coming in and throwing hooks and kind of bum rushing forwards, but he'd have more success if he could utilize the jab a bit more. Move his head a bit, you know. Nice left hand by Hopi. Lovely right hand by Hopi. Little short right hand. Short right hook as Grande was coming in. This has been a better round by Hopi so far. Picked some nice shots and he's, and he's controlling range. Keeping Grande at arm's length now. Which is really where he wants to be. Lovely again. Grande overcommits. Hopi half step back. Straight left hand. Good stuff. 
Ah, oh, free punch combo culminating in the left hand to the head by Hopi. Right hand to the body by Grande. But so far, this has been a pretty clear Hopi round, unless something crazy happens. Nice left hand by Hopi again. Yeah, Hopi's got it right this round. But now Grande comes back. Hopi's on the ropes. Lands well, throws a couple of shots. Not really, nothing really got through. This is the overhand right, Grande. Good right hand to the body there by Grande. Clear Hopi round, round four. To be honest though, for a guy who's like four or five and know whatever Hopi is, this is a pretty good fight for him. It's a good learning fight. It's what it's what you want really. Big up Crazy D3. I'm not sure, Crazy. I'm not sure about McKinson being co-main. I think, mate, I think you might be right. Uh, Hopi Price and Claudio Grande. I agree, man, Chad. He's he's open for it all night long. It, it, sorry, if Price is upright at the end of a six... Sorry, if Price is upright at the end of six rounds, he'll get the verdicts. Oh, yeah, of course. That's a good shout, Jared. And it, it it would have worked perfectly in this fight, Jared, against um, Grande, who comes in straight lines, doesn't take his head off centre line. The uppercut would be perfect. Yeah, all of these fights going to points. It's looking that way, man. I want to see some cunt get knocked out. Grande starts round five pretty aggressively. Working in the clinch, nothing really effective. But he's trying, he's trying. And again, he's trying to bum rush him with hooks. One one right hook got to the body by Grande. Some, Grande started this round quite well. Landed a few body shots at the start of round five, Grande. Hope he's not really landed anything so far. Hopi going for the straight left, but Grande blocked it. Grande's throwing some hooks. Lovely straight left of the body there by Hopi. Oh, lovely straight left by Hopi. I think it landed. It looked like it did. Camera angle was terrible. It looked like it landed. Body shots there by Hopi. Hopi's throwing the jab. Lovely uh, evasion there by Hopi's price. Problem with Hopi Price, a lot of the shots he throws are throwaway shots. They've, there's nothing really on them. Messy exchange there by both men. Grande got the better of it. Round five so far for Grande. It's not been too bad. Nice body shot by Grande. And again, right hand to the head as well by Grande. Right hand to the head by Grande. Left hand by Hopi Price. Decent round, round five. Now hope he's back behind his jab. Hope he's taking the little dance, trying to move around Grande. Lovely one-two by Hopi Price, followed by the right uppercut. Lovely combination. Good stuff. Good defense there by Hopi. Nice right hand by Grande. And again by Grande. 
Now, to me, this has been the closest, even most even round of a fight, round five. I think I think Hopi's picked for better single shots, but Grande's probably worked harder. So I'm not sure how you do round how you score round five to tell you the truth. I'll probably give it 10-10. Yeah, big up to Colin, by the way. He says, big up. Uh, I'm, I'm bored with this card. It's not great, is it? How did you guys score round five? My weed, when I break it up, moves like it's alive. What the fuck? Sunset, Sherbet, Indica hybrid. Sounds good, bro. Sounds good. I'll just be a hater. I'm going to score round five to Grande. Shall I be a hater? To be fair, round five could have gone either way. I'll be honest. Shall I be a mushroom hater though and give it to Grande? You're a hater. Anyway, round six. Nice one, two, one there by Hopi. A couple were blocked actually, but still nice attempt. Grande's coming forwards, just throwing hooks, basically. Not much getting through. Nice straight left by Hopi Price. Lovely. Body shot there by Grande, right hand. Now both guys tie up. What the fuck was he doing? Trying to do a DDT or something? The fuck is that about? Nice, ah, oh, nice straight left by Hopi. One two one by Hopi, followed by a right hook. Lovely. Hope he's definitely controlling round six so far. But yeah, neither one of these guys could knock out a good wank, to be honest with you. Oh, well well played there by Hopi Price. Grande came in for attack. He spanned him off and landed a nice straight left. Both guys are on the ropes. Some real mucky work. But yeah, to me, I'm not I'm not convinced by Hopi. Some nice flashes of quality, but I'm not really convinced. Good straight left by Hopi there. Grande comes back with a right hand to the head. A couple of right hands to the body by Grande. The commentators are making out like this is like a six rounds to nothing type of fight. I don't see it that way. I think it's been I think it's been relatively competitive. But you know how the zone are. And all and all commentary teams. This fight will be six out for if one Hopi. Mm. Hopi's definitely winning this round. Good 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 body work there by Hopi. Straight left, then right hook to the body. Round five was close. I, I probably I was debating it. I'm not really sure about round five, to be honest, but... Oh, 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 oh might not be needed. Lovely, lovely shot by fucking Hopi. Whoa, where did that come from? Right on the... Right, basically, right before the bell, Grande got dropped. And he was hurt as well. You see the way he went out? Like a minute earlier, that's the fight. Yeah, he was hurt. He was rocking about. Great shot from Hopi. That's the fight for him. If there was any questions in anybody's minds, that 10 8 round, if you scored a draw, that 10 8. Yeah, Hopi definitely won. Lovely shot. Good. Honestly, I'm, I'm not convinced by Hopi at all, but it was a good learning fight. Look, 122, 126, right? Let's say this guy gets to the potential you see him realizing, right? Does he, yeah. is, could he beat an Adam Lopez? 
No. Exactly. That tells you everything you need to know right there, doesn't it? There you go. Are you still very young, Lenny? How old is he? Twenty-two. I think he's younger than that. Let's have a look. That was a great counter. Hopey price. It was lovely shot, wasn't it? Great counter. Man, his Adam's look. apple sticks out further than his chin does, doesn't it? <laughs> look how far out that Adam's apple goes there. Look. Yeah, look at him. Now that I've noticed that, I'll never be able to unsee that. Luke Campbell. This guy's going to wind so many people up. That Ben Whitaker guy. He's already winding me up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the score. What's it going to be? What should be 60-53? I hope I hope he gets a bit of credit, Grande. Oh, fifty-eight, fifty. That's that's. Uh, you know what? That's fair. That's fifty-eight, fifty-five. Four rounds to two. Yeah, that's fair. That, that's I can see that. Four rounds to two. Fair enough, ref. I'm not a fan of ref scoring, but that, that's fair enough. I can see that. Jim Boyd did us proud. Yeah, we, we want to see Jim White back. Yeah, we want you. And he was pretty clean in there, wasn't he, too? He mm. only disrupted the one they needed to be. Mm. Fair play to Jim White. Yeah, Cone had it free all. Um, and because of a knockdown, he had Hopi winning. I had a 4 2. Hopi. Yeah, it was a good shot. Was that first round between me, you, and Colin? You know what I mean? Yeah, that... exactly. <laughs> Abstract Dale being prolific straight out of a womb. <laughs> Don't know about that, man. Yeah, speak up to Ab uh, Abstract Boxing, by the way. Uh, he says, "What's up, Dale boy? You're, you're becoming prolific with the content lately, eh, bro?" Yeah, man. You know how it is. We'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be in for a bit of a bore session next. I think. <sighs> Not this Phil. I think it's Cordina. I don't think it's um. Uh, well, I haven't even checked the card, right? I haven't even checked it. So like, I came onto this with like blind faith that you were gonna be going live for a good card. So I didn't check the card. Mate, I'm not gonna go live for a good card. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go live for a shit fucking card. To be fair though, the first fight weren't too bad. It was watchable, and, and even that fight was watchable. You're not gonna watch them again. You're telling me my next two fights back to back are gonna be Joe Cordina versus Joshua Hernandez. Yeah, and and neither one of these guys can knock out a good wank. So we'll be we'll be here for a long time. I remember seeing. Hernandez on the Keith Thurman Josecita Lopez undercard against Chris Colbert. Okay. Was he any good? He lost every round in that fight. <laughs> Maybe you could give him a round. Maybe. Cone says uh hope he's just another matchroom hype job. He's trash. I don't That's rate him. I just dis I disagree with that concept entirely. Nobody's what? hyping him. What hype is on on Hopi? I think he's just another matchroom trash can. <laughs> yeah, oh. he's got no he's got no hope. That's what it is. <laughs> Are we gonna call him no Hopi price? <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's it. Gave we'll it gave, gave it a go gave it a go Hopi. <laughs> uh who's sorry, who's been your favorite British prospects coming out of the Olympics? I would say Ben Whitaker, Galau Yafai. I think they're, they're the two who can maybe do something in the pros. Not a fan of Pat McCormack. I, I think he's another Josh Kelly. To be honest, Peter McGrail, I'm not I'm not as read up on, so I can't really comment on Peter McGrail. Uh I think I think Pat McCormack could go further than Kelly, but I don't think he can go to the top of world level. 
That's one mm. thing I'll say. I don't think you can do that. Um, heavyweight's always going to be fun and interesting. So F- Fraser's another pair. I think Fraser could get to a European level. You know what I mean? Yeah. Be, yeah. Be a, be a level below Joyce, but a level above Price. You get what I mean? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, we got um, we got John Gonzalez in the house. Big up to John. Oh, oh, I love John. He's a lovely man. As Pigeon would say, he's a lovely man. Look at he Connor Ben. He's lovely. <laughs> Look at Tony Bellew, man. This guy. Have you noticed last weekend on the zone he was wearing like a suit, yeah, with no fucking socks? Like the guy looks such a fucking idiot, man. He's he's gone back for the socks, Tony. Do you know what I really love, right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna pay make you pay attention to it as it goes on, right? Look at Tony as he looks at people, right? And when they talk to him and how he starts grinning at them, right? When people talk directly to him, you gotta watch that. And he's grinning at them like and now look when they're not talking directly to him, right? What you'll notice is he looks like he just doesn't understand why he's up there. <laughs> look at the big smile I get to Connor. Well, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> the big fake grin. Uh, I'll be honest, yeah. Connor Ben, I went from not rating him to kind of liking him to disliking him again. Do you know what I love? How quickly he got over COVID. Yeah. Man, Laura Wood's looking like a snack right now. Shit. I'll... The only thing that like turns me off at Laura Wood is the forehead, mate. Just a bigger target, mate. It's just a bigger target. If you can get it off looking at it. <laughs> uh... She has got a name. You've said that. I can see it. <laughs> I've ruined that for <laughs> Uh, takes a lot to ruin a woman for me, mate. Wouldn't be the first time a mate ruined a girl before you did. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> you got to take Jeez. what you can get. You get what you give. Ah, uh, Connor Ben, man, this guy is basically a soundbite. I'm not listening to him. He's gas though. I I'm not going to be all this and all that. Fight Avanesian, mate. That's the one. Get rid of his clown, Granados, and then fight Avanesian. That's what I say. Even McKinson, then Avanesian, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be mad at. You want the Avanesian fight? Yeah. yeah. Who's this here? Uh, uh, it's Michael McKinson. Fuck me. Oh. He's a Portsmouth fan as well. What cunt? <laughs> he looks like a Portsmouth fan, doesn't he? What does a Portsmouth fan look like? That. That dude. But I, I'm i looking at him and I still don't know what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Like, uh, uh, look at look at, look at Laura, uh, fucking Crazy D3, man. Laura Woods is way too slim for you, though. <laughs> I'm going to change my name. Just... Just for Crazy D3's answer, my name means everything. Okay, Ben Granados is now on Warrington Lara. That's a good little card, actually. That's a good little card. Looking okay. forward to that fight, Warrington Lara. Yeah, but you and I, we really love we love those we love those crossroads fights. We yeah. really love them. High stakes, man. James. James. James had to turn off depressing card. It was depressing? I don't think it's that depressing, mate. Oh, it's all right. I've I've seen I've sat through a lot fucking worse. Oh my god. Do you know what Mike Costello looks like? Gone. Mike Costello looks like Jim White is sixty-two years old, but going through puberty again. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Costello looks like an like a music teacher. That's what he looks like. Which kind of music teacher? We talking J.K. Simmons and Whiplash? (laughs) (laughs) Oh dear! Oh my God! This guy, man, he looks—he doesn't look like a ring announcer. He looks like he's gonna read your. 
he looks like he's going to reach our future. He does, bones. doesn't he? He looks like somebody's auntie. Did you ever see The Jungle Book, Del? I have, yeah. Do you know the start of the movie where the, or the, and the ending of the movie where Mowgli is like woman of his dreams who's like seven years old is walking out with the big pot on her head to go fetch the water? Mm. That's that's what his hair do is, the pot on the head in Jungle Book. Okay, this Polish dude's coming in. Two nine. Oh, wait, 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 wait. McKinson's fighting Ronovsky. Ronovsky who fought Josh Kelly. Yeah. Who... Oh, yeah, I'm so excited for this. Yeah. Ronovsky is... can't punch. McKinson can't punch. This is going 10 rounds. What's the under or over on one of these guys not being able to crack an egg in two rounds? You never know, though. Sometimes these fights where you think there's going to be no knockdowns, no knockouts, sometimes they can de uh, deliver. I'll but... say one thing about McKinson. He's dropped seven of his last eight opponents. He doesn't get yeah. stoppages, but he does drop people. Yeah. He's tricky as fucking he, McKinson. Look at this fucking cunt in this guy's corner. That cunt with a fucking hat on. Little uh, guy's juice to the gills. Huh? Ronowski's trainer or, or one of his corner men juice to the fucking gills. Looks like a Polish Polish Dominic Ingle, doesn't he? He does. Flex Ingle. <laughs> Flex? Yeah. Oh my God. What music is McKinson coming out to? And uh, and having the nickname is he is he even Irish? I don't know. He's probably got it somewhere, but like, why do people like try to push like the Irish heritage shit for like fandom? We don't care if you're if you've got English in your blood, you don't count. Yeah, I, I've noticed a lot of Americans do that as well. Yeah, and then like Joe Joe Smith Jr. was pushing it. We don't. Yeah, care. he's American. We don't. We don't care. Having a nickname, to... yeah, having a nickname the problem and having that music, I kind of want to see this guy get knocked out now. And the headband, like he's Danny's what's what's his name? Danny LaRusso from the karate kid. Yeah. Before he hits Johnny with the Johnny with the crane kick. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, I'm Team Ronowski in this fight. You're always Team Poland. Facts. Yeah, turn up. Pick up the turn, PSK. Turn up for what? Not enough meat on Laura Wood's bones for Dell, surely. Come on, man. Come on, man. Why you got if to do Laura, me like that? If Laura Wood's like body width was her height, Dell would be all in. That's why she's number three on that list. Nah, uh, number two is Ali Drew. She's the skinniest. No, she's she's not skinnier than Laura Woods. You're having a laugh. She looks skinny to me. She no, doesn't. Mate. She doesn't really wear tight clothes, folks. So it's hard to say with um, Ali. Yeah, no, I've seen. I've seen her in. I've seen her in leather pants. I'd like to see her out of them. She's fit as fuck to me. I don't know why. She's got that little mole on her lip as well. You know what I mean? She's she's absolutely banging. A bit like you do, yeah? Yeah, man. And got that, that beauty uh, mark. <laughs> Aw, you said my name after beauty. That's great. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy, man. He looks like a Polish... I don't Look know. He's at got, this. He's got Look a head shape of Ted Cheeseman. Look at his trainer in the background, mate. <laughs> Looks like he's been on men health. <laughs> Does this guy look like a, a, a mix between Ted Cheeseman and like Lucas Rosansky? He is Lucas Rosansky. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a mix between Ted Cheeseman and Ivan Branchik. Yeah. In the face. Not the body, obviously, because they both have better physiques. And he's got that Neanderthal skull, so that guy can take a punch. And McKinson can't punch. <laughs> exactly. Imagine McKinson starches some first round. <laughs> uh, dopey this guy looks, man. He looks like Michael Chopra. Do you remember that football player? <laughs> That's how he looks like to me, Michael Chopra. Where did that come from? Man, when you're watching the card like this, man, your 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 fucking mind diverts to other places. Absolutely. Uh, 
Oh, shut up, man. Good morning, Joseph. Or well, good after good good evening to us, but yeah, good morning to yourself. That ref looks like Povetkin. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No. He looks like Prince Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't sweat. <laughs> Uh, look at this guy's head, man. I'll behave myself, by the way, though. I'll be on my best behavior. Ooh. Oh, God. What are you away, McKinson complaining? <laughs> Bit slappy there from McKinson. It's going it's for more, it, though, McKinson. Good stars. What I like is that he's more assertive than normal, right? And that may be because he he knows that on matchroom cards, like they won't keep you around if you're boarding. Mm. They won't, though, to be fair. Unless you've like high levels of potential. What's his name's on commentary? Um Mike Costello. Let me have a listen. His jab technique reminds me of somebody, but I can't think who. Michael McKinson, that is. I, I don't know. The jab technique, the way he yeah. flicks, it from, like, flicks it from elbow forward. Mm. Browner does that. Yeah. he's. Do you remember Browner against the Marco? Mm. Best performance, in my opinion. But he was jabbing like that. Oh. That must have been an entanglement of feet. Yeah. But um, McKinson started pretty well utilising the jab, being being quite effective with it, trying to throw shots off a jab. Bronowski's not really done much. He landed one body shot. Yeah. Bronowski's just sitting in the high guard, seeing what's in front of him. Jab to the body there by... Ronofsky. Right hand to the body by Ronofsky, left to the head by McKinson. Mm. Good stiff jab there from McKinson, followed by a one two. Roy right hook into a two. Not bad. Yeah, he's letting his hands go, McKinson. I love that commentary. They all say I can't punch until they get in the ring with me, and then afterwards they say you can't punch. But <laughs> <laughs> mate, his eyes are bothering me though. I know, I know, <laughs> dopey as fuck, any. Because they had in all of his voice beforehand, they don't have the camera angle like direct on his face, right? <laughs> but the zone have. <laughs> He's looked pretty sharp though. Oh, he's clearly winning this round. Like, this has been dominant as hell. Yeah, he's looking sharp. He can box, though. I'm being honest. He's no yeah, power, he... but the lad can box. He can box. Yeah, he can box. That's oh. what I'm saying. But lovely. Oh, smooth. Whew. What was that? A one. Good round. A one straight left, and then he hooked off of the straight left. Mm. So, one, two, three. Nice. I like Good that round. One. Good round by McKinson, dominant round. That's what I'm saying, bro. Listen, even if Connor if Connor beats Grenados, I wouldn't complain about Connor versus uh, McKinson. Mate, I can't take him seriously. He does look dodgy, doesn't he? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a drink. I'm gonna get a drink out of the fridge. Yeah, I'll call. I'll, I'll do the shot call in here. I'll shot call. All right, fellas, you're stuck with the dodgy one of the two of us. Ratioed. <laughs> right, let's get this shit on the go. Come on, come on. How long is this going to take? Being a little homo today, I'm drinking IPA. All right, Renowski, straight left right off the bat from McKinson. Yeah. That's... He, 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 there's no tell on those shots either. Look, look at it. There's he he no disguises tell. it well, oh, especially the jab because he throws it from his waist. He flicks it. It's really hard to read. Oh, that body shot, man! That was lovely. 
Oh, yeah, Ronowski. Ronowski's looking like a very, he's looking pedestrian right now. McKinson's looking 20 times to fight or Kelly did against Ronowski. That's that's fair. Because you see all those feints like like McKinson's throwing and then he's landing stuff. Kelly threw like a hundred feints and then got punched in the head. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. See, like McKinson, I'll be honest, I, I know I was talking shit earlier, but he's a light puncher that is actually watchable. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I like watch. This is, oh, that's nice. I'd, uh, I guess you describe him as like a stylist. Do you know what I mean? That's his style, like just flashy yeah. and. But do you know, the, the, the one thing is, he'll look good for four or five rounds, but we'll be used to seeing guys who have style and then a bit of power, right? And then yeah. as those rounds go on because he, they've been doing more damage, they start to really hurt the person and then the person gets taken out. Whereas you don't. You feel like after four or five rounds, you're going to be like, right, get him out of here. And you're going to be sat there like, he's not, oh, off balance. Oh, lovely not, by McKinson. There was a balance shot to me. On the replay, Ronovsky's foot was on top of McKinson's when, or McKinson's was on top of his one, the other one, the shot landed. Hmm. He might do him in here, you know, man. I wouldn't be shocked. It'd be, it'd it'd be, be a good result. It'd, it'd actually be very... Has Ronovsky been stopped? I don't think so, no. I think Kelly's the only guy to beat him still. And that was points. That was abysmal. That was horrible, wasn't it? It was a low blow there from Ronovsky. Got caught with a right hook fed over Ronovsky in the process. And left. Yeah, lovely left down the pipe. Jab, oh, mate. jab, lovely... It's funny to me, Dell. I think he's the best welterweight Britain have. I really do. Mm. See, again, Conor Ben would be very interesting. Stylistically, that'd be very interesting. With the volume, yeah. I could see him dropping Conor Ben. That unorthodox style. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, Conor's not exactly... Doesn't he's exactly a... take a backward step, does he, Conor? N no, but... I'm just saying, man, McKinson to me, like, he doesn't have the power or the aggression, right? But he's a better boxer, is what I'm saying, than Conor mm, Ben. Absolutely. Although Conor Ben improved his defense a lot. That far Malifoy showed us that. Yeah, I think Conor's got better. The head movement and stuff. See that? The way he, he pushed into him and then he pushed him. Watch. See? Push. James says, if Laura Woods had Maya Jammer's thighs, she'd be nice. Yeah, she'd be nice. I can't argue with that. Michael Chop was the only freshie to play in the Premier League. Fucking hell. The only what? Freshie. Connor Ben watching McKinson, knowing he doesn't want that, want that fight. McKinson would school him. Nothing wrong with IPA. That's true. I'm drinking a, a brew dog at the minute. I actually quite like Brewdog. It's a nice drink. Yeah, he's schooling him right now, James. Just easy, easy work. <laughs> Tone, Tone says McKinson's right eyes uh, a bit skew if kid can see around corners. That's why he's <laughs> man. No wonder he's slipping all these punches. He can see. Oh, he got caught with a left hook there, though. Yeah. Oh, mate. He's feeling himself, any McKinson. <laughs> yeah, he is. I think he realizes uh, when he takes one to give one, Ronovsky can't hurt him. Mm. And he can land instantly back as well. Yeah. It's a lot quicker. Ronovsky's <laughs> only ah, oh, Ronovsky's <laughs> only real shot to me that's been somewhat working to that straight right to the body. But apart from that. Name me a better name me a shot Josh Kelly threw better than that 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 side to side lateral on the move uppercut that McKinson just landed on Ronovsky. Name me one. I can't. I was loving oh, it. A lovely uppercut by McKinson. Mm. 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 Man, he's nice. Yeah, they, they, those shots are gonna they could add up, those sort of shots. They could add up. <clears throat> <laughs> the right job. He's trolling him. Lovely is jabs. It, is Adele, dare I say it? 
Is this the next Roy Jones Jr.? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh look at that. Look at that. That was gorgeous. I've got to give him respect, though. He's come from small hall shows, then to MTK. Now he's on Matt. Mm. Oh, lovely by McKinson. Left to the body and head. <laughs> Ronofsky comes back. Lovely <laughs> uppercut to the body by McKinson. Ronofsky tried to throw back, though. Good stuff. Good exchange. Good party from Ronofsky, that one. Yeah, McKinson's enjoying this so far. McKinson's owning him. Good stuff. Mate, well, it's partially blocked. But... Good right hand by Ranowski. I'm liking that adjustment from Manovsky, the up and down feint, with the head going right to left, going up and down. Mm. See it? Before he before he shoots, but it's starting to become readable. Yeah. I feel so much for, for Ranovsky. You can tell he can't fight going backwards. Yeah. Hundred percent. Whereas McKinson could do both. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. McKinson's quite quite versatile in his approach. He can spoil and box, and he can come forward a bit. Ne he's starting to piss me off a bit, because now he's just sitting there and like doing the head feints and shit. He's starting to Josh Kelly a bit now. That's beginning to annoy me. Stop. Keep doing what you were doing. Be flashy with the shots, and I'll enjoy it. Don't be trying 19 head feints to get hit with a jab. Don't be doing that. Look at Darren Barker. Chris Lloyd followed me earlier on Twitter. Yeah, I like Chris Lloyd. Yeah, nice lad. I'd rather him be in commentary, though, to be honest. But he's an anchor, and he's getting somewhere. You know what I mean? Mm. Like he came from YouTube. Did he? Didn't he? Yeah, uh, he had a channel years ago, and then he left that, and he got into a job because of that, and then that's how he kind of broke in. This was years ago. And he's just come up through the gears. I'm quite feeling uh, Mike Costello on commentary. I don't, I don't. I think it's he's decent. Do you prefer him to Nick Holland? Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I prefer Nick Holland to Adam Smith, though. I'll say that because at least he gives an opinion. Yeah, he's not like for like Adam Smith. Really, he's just sound bites and cheerleading. He's got a good voice for Adam Smith. He's got a good commentator's voice, but what he says is fucking garbage. I'm half expecting Ronowski to get Ooh. dropped soon. It was almost there too, wasn't it? Lovely right hook by McKinson out of a southpaw stance. Ooh. If McKinson drops him, it's going to have to come off of a Ronowski shot. Hmm. Lovely left hand by McKinson. There's a lot of tanglings of the legs, isn't there? In yeah. this fight. <clears throat> I bet you there's a lot of lads who seen tangling of legs, yeah. I'm confused for Ranovsky being hurt, right? Yeah. I made a lot of in-play bets. <laughs> yeah. Stoppage. Yeah, Ranowski is. Um, he needs to change something, up, man. But he's not willing to commit Ranowski, so obviously those shots are having some sort of effect. Good shot by Ranowski, though. His left hand. I put money on Ranowski on air. Uh, uh, not money on Ranowski. Money on McKinson on points. I guess the safest. It was part of a parlay. Part of a parlay. Oh, now, McKinson now, I think this is a stage where you want to see McKinson really try and step through the gears. Boxed well, but like he's needs to up it now. Nice left hand by McKinson. There you go. Lovely body shot by McKinson. 
left hand to the body. Ranowski got through there with a right hand. He's landed a couple of shots this round, Ranowski. Not much, but a couple. Right hand by Ranowski to the body. I'm getting bored now. I want to see Ranowski. Oh. His glove touched the canvas. That's what it looked like. Yeah, straight left on the at the bell by McKinson. I am getting bored though, though. That's what I'm saying. I want to see him go through the gears now. He's on top, outboxing him, landing good shots. Now he needs to go through the gears. I kind of want to take a power nap until until Buwati, you know that man? I want to watch Joe Cordina for you. Yeah, Cordina's not exactly God's gift for entertainment. His last fight was all right, though. Okay. Yeah, that right hand looked like it did touch the canvas. Let's see on the replay. Now, they're not showing the bottom of the screen, mate. Terrible camera angles. Designed. Game changed. Game changed, yeah. You can't even see all of the fucking ring. Okay, round five. It's got points written all over it. Left hook by McKinson. Left hook to the body by Ranowski. Chopping right hand by McKinson. Both guys exchanges. Both guys land left hooks. McKinson's gone arc. It went dark to ducks for a sec. Yeah, he keeps switching, doesn't he? Yeah. He does it quite subtly as well. Yeah, you don't really catch it sometimes. Where certain fighters are just blatantly changed and it's so apparent. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, he does a brilliant job of a Galahad. Beautiful. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Done it great against um, Jazza. I was paying close attention to it, and it was like every time he did it, it was like, man. Right hand by Ranowski. Good lead, uh, lead right hand. That land, yeah? Looked like it. I'm going to say it did. I'm going to give him a sympathy point. Andy Lee stealing my commentary, saying McKinson needs to go through the gears. As a blatant push by McKinson. That's the second warning now for pushing. Shove him with the forearm. I think that was another point there for Ranowski. But he needs to change it up, um, Ranowski. He needs to, I don't know, get behind you, the high guard and try and walk him down or something. What else can he really do? He'll get pieced up with the high guard. Yeah, he probably so will, yeah. He, every time he puts it up, he, he doesn't know how to hold it properly. Oh, no, he's yeah, he can't, <laughs> yeah. slip. He can't Ooh. punch off it that well. When you watch someone like Ranowski fight, it gives you the hope I can be a boxer. Because I'm not being funny. This guy's got nothing about him at all. He's tough, but... Nice shot by mm. uh, McKinson. Good straight left hand. Well, the fact that lad's only got one loss on his record tells you something. <laughs> yeah. He must be a nightmare to fight, though, McKinson. I bet he's fucking horrible. Good one. Good shot there by McKinson. Yeah, Ranowski needs to do something different, man. He's Because he's garbage right now. Absolute trash. He's got a cut on his eye, a slight cut, Ranowski. 
Still. Yo. Do you feel ripped off at 199 with this card? I mean, this is... I, I felt going into it, this was this was the worst fight camp card. It's kind of what I expected, to be honest with you. It's kind of what I expected, but Virgil Ortiz tonight, that's going to make... That's, one, that's worth 199. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna stay up for it, boy. Nah, I'll get some rest, man. After this card, I think I'll fucking need it. To be honest, AA's got a fiver on Cordina to get sparked. I think you've lost your fiver. Mind you, he's fighting a Mexican American. Yeah, you never know. He's a slapper, any sometimes, though. Um, McKinson, he's a bit of a slapper sometimes. Good right to the body there by Ranowski to the chest. I'm gonna go for another smoke, and I'm probably gonna roll a blunt. I, I need to take a bit of time here. <laughs> Don't blame you, mate. It's not yeah. a great fight. Enjoy. <laughs> but yeah, McKinson <clears throat> leading with a jab. Ranowski goes for a left hook, misses wildly. A horrible fucking technique there by McKinson. Just throws himself off balance, looking for a hook. Nice slip by McKinson, left hand to the body. That's better. Jab by McKinson. Both guys fall into the clinch. Yeah, this is not a great fight, guys. It's not a great fight. McKinson started well, and he was pretty decent to watch, but it's kind of delved into just... A boring fight. It's about as fun as a funeral so far. That's better though by Ranowski. Looking for the right hand. Partially landed. McKinson comes back. Straight left hand. Fucking hell. Cordina. Sorry. McKinson. Pushing Ranowski back. Good left hand by McKinson. Jab by McKinson. Good uppercut by McKinson. That's better. Now, you got to step on that, though. He landed a great uppercut, didn't step on him. Good uppercut by McKinson. Six rounds over. Six, uh, sorry, sixth round over. Yeah, Ranowski needs to uh, pedal left and throw an overhand right moving forwards. I agree. Ranowski looks small. Yeah, McKinson throws for straight left like an amateur. Yeah, not great technique. And he's a slapper in general, even with like looping wide shots. Oh, yeah, I think so as well, Tone. I think, I think he would have gotten out of there. I don't think it's great matchmaking, to be honest. Ronowski's a tough dude with no power, just a guy who comes forward with a high guard. And McKinson's, a, McKinson's an awkward non-puncher, so I don't know why they put these two guys together, to be honest. Yeah, that's what Mark said after four or five rounds. It will get boring. Yep. McKinson just needs to keep going forwards now, get the ref to jump in. Yeah, he needs to really step on the gas Try and make a statement. Yeah, he's caught in with it a couple of times in the exchanges, Alan. But it's so his moments of success are so fleeting. He tries it again there. And again, he tries the left hook. Both guys are trading up close. Some good body work by Ranowski. But McKinson also landing some good shots to the head. 
Good, good little exchange to start round seven. But yeah, it looks like Ronowski's just trying to land one home run shot. You know what I mean? Because he's not trying to outwork him. He's not trying to outbox him. So good left hand by McKinson. Good right hand to the body by Ronowski. I think that's been his best shot of a fight, the right hand to the body. He needs to be throwing it a lot more. Good straight left by McKinson. This really is a shit fight, guys, honestly. It's, it's a shit fight. Good jab by McKinson. Like, Ranowski has nothing about him. Like, no imagination, no speed, no power, no aggression. He's just there, you know, tough dude, but just... Good left hand by McKinson. Good good uppercut by McKinson. I think it was blocked. Lovely straight left by McKinson. That's better. Good left hook by Ronowski. Nice right hand by McKinson. Left hand by McKinson. Left uppercut to the body by McKinson. Jab by McKinson blocked. Great upper, great uh, straight to the body by McKinson. Like a looping shot to the body it was. Not straight. Oh, and... Ronowski made McKinson miss badly there. I'm hoping the next fight is good, lads. I'm hoping. Okay. That round's over. Was that round six or round seven? Christ. No idea, Jared. No idea what's happened with Congo. I'd rather see a Congo rematch than this shit. Yeah, imagine you pay 750 for this garbage. Imagine. Seven, yeah, 750 quid plus six pounds for a pizza slice. And a game of cornhole. Game changed. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a shit fight, N1. By the way, lads, if you could smash for like, be much appreciated. Yeah, Ranowski is there to survive. Yeah. Yeah, the jab's been non-existent by Ranowski. Non-existent. I think he's too comfortable fighting at that pace and style. Cruising, but should be going for the stoppage. I agree. I think he's just one of those sort of guys, AA. He's just one of those sort of guys. He's never going to be a fan, a, a fan favorite, Michael McKinson, with that sort of style. But we're in round eight now. And, McKin uh, you know, McKinson starts the way he's started most rounds, behind the jab. Lovely uppercut by McKinson. That's better. Straight left by McKinson. Jab by McKinson. Lovely left hand by McKinson. Lovely left hand again by McKinson. He seems to be putting more on these shots in round in round eight, McKinson. I think more purchase on the punches. Lovely uppercut by McKinson. <clears throat> I 
a little bit better in round eight by McKinson in terms of like him actually going for it. Good jab by McKinson. One, two by McKinson, followed by a right hook. Right hand by Ranowski, good shot. Run two by McKinson, good good work. McKinson going for a little dance now, stepping around Ranowski, looking to open him up. But yeah, McKinson, you know, McKinson's bossed this round again. But decent right hand there by Ranowski. Left hook there by Ranowski. Nice right by Ranowski. That's better. Round eight is over. Another McKinson round. Yeah, game changed apparently. Fuck me. McKinson sucks. What the fuck is this, mate? <laughs> Ranowski is a deli clerk and a part-time boxer give me a break yeah he's not great is he Ranowski literally moves his feet back as he jabs no commitment to it whatsoever yeah I wonder if he's just feeling the shots and he's too too shook to commit yeah I think McKinson needs to double or triple up that backhand Who should McKinson fight next after this? See, I still wouldn't mind seeing a Conor Ben fight. Conor Ben would make that exciting. And, um, you know, McKinson's got an awkward style for Conor, so I think that'll be a fun fight. Failing Conor Ben, I don't know, maybe... Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. Would they let him fight Echo Essamon on BT? I don't think McKinson signed with Matchroom. Maybe he is, but I don't think he is. Yeah, he really looks like he belongs on an MTK card. He has that MTK style, yeah. And if you could smash for like, lads, be much appreciated. Good straight left hand by McKinson. I'm disappointed by the lack of bodywork by McKinson in this fight. I want to see that straight left hand to the gut and just more, more of a body attack in general, to be honest. There's been no real bodywork by McKinson for the most part. <clears throat> but we're nearly there, lads. We're round nine at the minute. Christ, this is horrible. Yeah, McKinson just leading with a jab, out, out pointing Ranowski. Good left hand by, by McKinson. Another right uh, left hand by McKinson. Just Ranowski just standing there, high guard, nothing coming back. Ranowski commits there and he get and he gets timed with a right hand jab by McKinson. Jab by McKinson. Ranowski is... Uh, both guys look like they had a head clash there. Nearly anyway. Like, Ranowski's been so poor. So, so poor. Like, after rounds five and six, something like that, you would imagine that he, he would have thought to himself, I need to change the game plan. I need to do something a bit different. I need to risk more. But he's not done that at all. Just like he's very happy to go the distance. Lovely left, uh, left hand by McKinson.
That's the best part of his performance, McKinson, has been the jab, no doubt. Because he, he's, he's used it consistently. It's been hard to read. Throwing it from the waist, it's been a good shot from McKinson, the jab. But that's really the best part of his performance. Just not a fan-friendly style. Good right hand to the body there by Ranowski. Mike Costello saying about the right hand to the body from Ranowski in round nine. I was saying that in rounds two and rounds three. It's clearly it's clearly his best shot. But there you go. Mike Costello, man, he's boring to listen to. I don't mind him, G-Man. I don't mind him. Maybe it's the fight. Maybe it, like with a more hype fight, he'll he'll liven up a bit. You know what I mean? But big up to G-Man. And big up to uh, True Crime with G-Man. Really good channel, by the way. Yeah, it's not been great, Bump of K. It's not been great. I think I've done well to sit through it, to be honest. I'll give myself a pat on the back. Yeah, Boazzi does have good hand speed. Uh, yeah, he does. He's got good hand speed and power. I think so, AA. Like, he, he took care of some good domestic level operators in the Golden Contract. You know, guys like Stephen Ward, Jose Burton, they are, I guess, they're solid domestic guys. And he beat Sergei Michel in the final. So he's coming in there with good form, at least. Yeah, this card feels like a next-gen show, and watching this McKinson fight is a fucking chore, especially after the last two fights. think I'm going to watch the football highlights till the main event starts. I don't blame you, Stefano. I don't blame you, to be honest, bro. We're nearly there with this fight, though. We're nearly there. I don't know what I, I don't know what possessed me to do this to tell you the truth because I knew I knew going in this was a shit a shit card sorry so I've got no idea why I've done this but there you go because honestly I probably wouldn't have watched any of these fights apart from the main event if I wasn't commentating it lovely left hand by McKinson and again. He caught Brunowski overcommitting with his right hand and, Mc and McKinson got there first with his straight left. Good shot. But yeah, Ranowski is uh he he's as slow as molasses in this fight. I've seen fucking corpses with more life than Ranowski. <clears throat> But yeah, imagine paying 750 quid for this. 750 quid. Jesus. Lovely left hand by uh, McKinson. That's better. He slipped and made, and, um, made Ranowski miss, come over the top with a straight left or an overhand left kind of thing. The last minute of this fight. Christ. I feel like I've aged 10 years in this fight. Going to end up looking like fucking, oh my God, a timeout. For fuck's sake, ref. McKinson's lost his gum shield. Fuck me, just end this fight. Christ. This is 40 seconds left. Double jab by McKinson, double jab again by McKinson. This hasn't been great, guys. Christ. Thank God it's over. Fuck me. What a poor fight that was. Went to walk the dogs and have a couple of joints and there's still a Cordina fight to go. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. 
yeah, an arena would be booing this, but instead there's a bunch of social influencers laugh out loud, yeah? You know, matchroom, yeah, that's it. That's basically it. The gentrification of boxing, James, that's what it is. Shit fight, though, man. Does Eddie bring him back? Can see Frank getting him? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing McKinson fight Echo Esserman. I think that fight would make sense. Yeah, he's very lackadaisical, Alan. Very lackadaisical. Yeah, indeed, he did. Indeed, he did, yeah. Damn, he's still there, unrivaled. It's a, it's a shit fight, man. Yeah, McKinson's a cure for insomnia. Just back from the hospital after my brain aneurysm. <laughs> Hearn is having a massive failure here. What a diabolical summer he's having with this shite, yeah. Like, the first fight camp was all right for what it was. The second, eh, was what it was. This has been, this has been abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. And look, at, they, need, they need to knock this fight camp thing on the head for next year, in my opinion. They need to knock it on the head. The gimmick has passed its course now. It, it's run its course. It made sense last year, but nah, they need to get rid of it next year. Fuck fight camp, man. Oh my days, that would be terrible. I'd rather fucking... I've got a bandage on my head to prove my brain aneurysm. Yeah, you can't question it now. Yeah, proper shit fight this. Big up to Julio Cesar Martinez. One of my favourite fighters in boxing. Yeah, Ranowski's a fucking bum, let's be honest. He's a fucking bum. Absolutely awful fighter. He needs to retire. That guy looked like Frankenstein. That's, a, that's, that's the level of his footwork and speed. Garbage. Yeah, I'm regretting doing it, Unrivaled. I'm, I'm regretting doing it. Cordina's now fighting a... Sorry, Cordina's fighting a 10-4 and one kid next. What's the deal with game changed exactly? Uh, fuck Andrade as well. Have to say, this makes Congo look very bad, yeah. Eddie Hearn cuts Anthony Sims Jr. and Tevin Farmer, yet signs Michael McKinson. Yeah, I mean, those guys aren't exactly world beaters. They don't exactly set the world on fire, but I'd, I'd rather watch those guys fight than fucking Michael McKinson. Facts, Stefano. Yeah, I think the main event's okay, old dog. It's a good step up. It's the sort of fight he needs right now, Boatsy. I think I think it's a step in the right direction, and it should be fun as well, given the style. So yeah, the main event will be okay, but this undercard's been cancer. Honestly, it's been absolute cancer. I'd rather watch these fucking cartel gore videos than watch this undercard. Honestly, I feel like this is worse for my for my mental health than watching those videos. Fucking hell. Yeah, fuck fucking hell. <laughs> how can a welterweight get compared to Frankenstein? That's how slow the dude is, man. Haitian sensation, he's Team Casemiro. That's going to be a good fight. That's going to be a good fight. Oh, I've got Casemiro as well. Rigondeaux's got a puncher's chance, obviously, but I think Casemiro should overwhelm him. Good fight, though. It's a good fight. Genuinely, yeah. Uh, I started this card relatively fresh. Not all that tired. I've had a busy day, but I've not all that tired. But two hours in, yeah, I'm fucking knackered watching this shit. I'm fucking knackered. I can't imagine, yeah, there's people out there who do live commentaries for every single fucking card. I couldn't do it. This is hard enough. Fucking hell. Yeah, white-collar fights is Hearn's future business model. 
does Belotniks have a chance in your eyes? He looked good in his last fight. I I think it's one of those fights where I, I, I can't really see him winning, but I think he could test Bawatsi kind of thing. He's not really a massive puncher. He's just, um, he's a tough dude, comes forwards, maintains a pretty good work rate, but he's not a real big puncher. So I'd say, no, nah, I don't think he beats Bawatsi. I don't, I don't think he's got much of a chance, but he can take him rounds. He can test him, land a few shots. And I, th I think it will make for a fun fight to watch. I feel you, L Dog. It's it's okay when it's a good fight. I've I've only done this a couple of times, but when it's a good fight, it's not too bad. You forget you're doing a live commentary almost. But yeah, with this shit, it's cancer. Honestly, I got Casemiro over Rigondeaux tonight. He's quit before he'll quit again. But I am a big fan of Rigondeaux. To be fair, appreciate the watch along. Delvis card is dead. Yeah, I feel dead now, man. Guillermo Jones lost in Russia last night to Kuda, Kudakov by UD. I can imagine that was shit as well. Oh my God. Genuinely, yeah, these days I, I don't really sit through these sort of cards anymore, like Frank Warren cards, Matchroom cards. I only usually watch what I want to watch. This is the first sort of... This is the first card I've watched through for a long time, and fuck me, it's garbage. L Dog's team Rigondeau. I'm team. I'm team Casemiro. I like. I, I. I don't mind Casemiro. Fucking hard work watching an hour behind, so I can skip forwards, and an hour's not enough. Yeah, Guillermo Jones is 49 years old now. Fucking hell. Barry Hearn versus Epstein's Black Book. I'm back, though. Yeah, nice one. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I left you to ransom. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't it's... blame you. That fight gave me a fucking headache, literally. I don't know. It, it could be the beer. It could be the beer, <clears> but <throat> I think it was the fight. I, I was saying, McKinson's one of these dudes who you could be entertained by for three rounds, but doesn't have the power. And as the rounds start to progress, you're just begging for it to end. I was... I'm so tired now. I'm, I'm like, I'm even flaccid looking at Laura Woods. Yeah. Ah, oh, me. Do you want me to take an image of her and Photoshop her like they did in like Fat Albert or something? Help you. <laughs> <laughs> Will we do a shallow hal reverse image on her? <laughs> shallow I'm, like, I'm liking the uh, the, the uh, dress sense from Laura Woods. Sh you know what I tummy. genuinely? Do you know what I genuinely think? When you cut your hair down that short, look about you. Yeah, when you cut your hair down that short. And you have to start combing it over to have a fringe. You gotta get gone. Yeah. Do you agree with me there? He needs to. He needs to say goodbye. Yeah, I agree. Look at it from a distance. Like if if he if he tilts his head out to the left, yeah, from the distance, it looks like. Remember when Fat Ronaldo had that like? <laughs> do you remember yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about? The front bit, yeah. Yeah, the 2002 World Cup. Christ, Joe Woods says, "Call me a simp, but Laura Woods is hot. She's, my... you know, man. I actually do think she's really good looking. To be honest, so do I. I really do. Uh, she is really good looking. Like she's, she did. I think I know what it is. By the way, that she's like obtainable good looking too. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's not like Moya. It's not like Moya Jama, who we all don't have a chance with. You know what I mean? Laura Woods has thicker legs than Conor Ben. Yeah, I'm I'm a fan, L Dog. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. To be fair though, that's one thing the zone have got right. The female hosts, or whatever they're called, they are all banging. All of them are banging. Ali Drew, I, Laura Woods, this, Maya Jammer. Is Ali Woods a female host on the zone? Well, she's on there. She works on the zone now, doesn't she? Oh, I didn't know that. But I'll tell you one thing. Laura's done a better presentation job tonight 
Yeah. In my oh, is that Ali? Oh, no, that's a that's the two Olympians, females. Have a look. Are they fit or not? Fuck! Oh, I'm really? on the wrong tab. The brunette. Uh, looks, no, no, no. The, she looks jacked, man. She, the girl, the blonde, looks jacked. The brunette looks. No, not for me, man. She, neither of them are good, but the the brunette's better. Bro, that bitch, man. Her grip is so. I bet her grip is mad. Which that one's? Lauren Price. I bet her grip is mad. Like turning your dick into a diamond. <laughs> Bro, do you remember how you used to tell me you didn't want people on here anymore because it started getting a bit out of hand and you say it turns your dick into a diamond? <laughs> <laughs> am, I allowed, am I allowed to have a drink? I'm, I'm remaining sober out of respect. You can do what you want, mate. I can have a drink, yeah. Do what you want. I, I know I can trust you with alcohol. The higher the super chat, the higher the shot I take. Big up to Junior, by the way. Salute to Junior. <laughs> L Dog says Bell, you looks like he's joined the EDL. <laughs> they won't let him in. <laughs> who's, the, who's the brunette one? I don't know, but she, like I was saying, she's nicer than Lauren, but she ain't nice. You get what I mean? She's not nice, but she's nicer than Lauren. Yeah, that Lauren should be a challenge. The brunette, though, she looks like, you know, one of those girls in sixth form. Yeah, and she just came out of six form, but she's had a rough time of it. Yeah, and she's gone for her first job interview, <laughs> rubbing her hands and all. See, she looks like a fucking security guard. That Lauren, uh, Lauren Price. Yo, fair play to Chris Lloyd. Do you see the way he's standing, looking down at them, and you can tell he's just like, mate. I normally have to be eight points deep to talk to mods like this. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing Look at her job, forehead. Though. Look at that Price's forehead. Nah, she, she bro, I don't. I, that's got, questionable. That gender is questionable. Those those lines down her forehead, those wrinkles, man. What the fuck are they? How can you get vertical rin, uh, wrinkles? Probably claw wounds from her previous victims. Probably. Christ. Her skirt's above her knees. Female <laughs> bouncer. She does look like a female bouncer, you know. Yeah, she does. Even the way she's dressing. I'll give her some credit. She's made To her, she's made some type of effort. Do you know how you know that, though? Do you see the belt she's wearing? The Gucci. Gucci. Although, I don't know if that's the Gucci belt or if it's the Primark rip of. She's dressing like a bloke, though. I could rock that. She's got bigger she, arms than you do. She's jacked. <laughs> she's got bigger arms than you do. <laughs> no, I don't mind the brunette. Like, she's not my cup of tea, but like... I don't think I'd give either a go. I think I'd leave it, you know? I wouldn't either, but the brunette's levels above the, the that lad next to Chris Lloyd. Looks like Roger out of um, American Dad. It's a weird ass face, you know. Oh, oh Christ! I hate this prick. <laughs> Jared Thompson. He said. Uh, he says her biceps are bigger than mine. <laughs> that white girl with a messy bun getting interviewed fire. Nah, come on, Haitian sensation, man. No, but look what he put down down at the bottom. But she's a little mas uh, muscular. A little. This <laughs> a little mate. She looks like she'd be able to fend off Eddie Hall. <laughs> the blonde looks like she works at a carpet store. Oh no. I think she eats carpet, mate. <laughs> as, to as Tone said, as Tone said. AA, AA is gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh god. And now we're back to Whoopi Goldberg here. Look at him. Christ. I think I've only got one beer left, you know. I need to ration that for this fucking garbage. Mind you, I can drink it through this fight. That should get me through. Uh, let me get a beer. Oh, my God, fellas.
Who's excited for Joe Cordini? Give me a thumbs up if you're excited to see Joe Cordini. One for excitement, two for no excitement. One for excitement, two for no excitement. One for excitement, two for no excitement. That's what I want. This card, one for excitement, two for no excitement. Crickets. Don't get negative, boys. Unless you're having an STD test. Two, two, 69, two. Crickets. Do y'all feel game has changed, guys? L Dog, world class comedy, my comment. Let me see your comment, L Dog. She is dressed like she is about to reenact Mussolini's march on. On I'm back. Del, go, go two above AAs to L Dog's comment and read that. She's dressed like she's about to reenact Mussolini's march on Rome with the black shirt and black pants. Fucking hell. I'll tell you what. I'm a, I'm a bit wavy. I'm like I'm like one can away from fucking that girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, take her back. Take her back now. She's not fat enough. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> See, fellas, he admitted it. See, this What's is where what? alcoholism is actually acceptable. Sitting for a card like this, I can see why people do it now. Are they dealt? Heineken, Carlsberg, mm. or Miller. That's what I've got. I say Heineken, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I'll be back. Oh, yeah, G Man. Facts. Garbage card. I think she ate Povetkin. Haven't seen him since his retirement. Don't get negative, boys. Oh, it's bad, though. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah, L Dog. L Dog's got a great sense of humor. Arguably the best troll in the in, in the YTBC, the most effective troll, because he L Dog is not how how do I describe it? He's not just one of those um, abrasive trolls. He actually kind of he's subtle with, with his troll game. He'll he'll um, he'll reel he'll reel people in for a while, and then they'll realize they're getting trolled. I like his style. Big up to John Gonzalez again, by the way. I need something heavier, man. I've got one beer left, and I've got to sit through this fucking cancer of a card. Yeah, you are elite. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'll tell you what, though. I quite rate Intangible on Twitter. He's a he's a decent little troll. He's good at his work. He's good at his stuff. Yeah, I should peg you. That's true, you know. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to run. I can't fight back there. Oh, McKinson PSK. McKinson is um, definitely more of a non-puncher. If you want to get waved, I can sell you some uh, beautiful shrooms. Do you know what? I've only the only thing I've done is uh, is weed. To be honest with you, I don't think shrooms would be. Uh, I don't think it would be ideal. <laughs> Yeah, L Dog is L Dog's quality, and he knows his stuff as well. When he wants to talk boxing, he knows his stuff as well. He's an all rounder. I used to be a really good troll back in the day, man. I've got out of it though. I used to be a sick troll, but oh, homegrown mushrooms. Interesting. That sounds interesting. The thing is, I'll probably get caught out if you if you ship, if you were uh, shipped me some. I'd probably get caught out, bro. And I probably shouldn't be talking about it on live, like organizing a drug deal. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I could do with a blunt though right now. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm out. 
Anyway, this this fight's about to start. Who's this guy even fucking fighting? Joe Cordina's fighting some guy called... Oh, I've got no idea. What's his name? Hernandez? Hopefully this dude can punch. Oh, he's Puerto Rican. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, Cordina versus Hernandez. 10-rounder. Good left hook by Cordina to start the fight. Cordina's hit and miss. Oh, lovely right hand by Cordina. That's better. That's what I want to see. Lovely right hand again by Cordina. Rocking the head back. And again, nice snappy counter right hand. Cordina looks very sharp early on. Lovely right hand. Down goes Hernandez. Out. He's not going to beat that count. Lovely right hand. Lazy jab by Hernandez. Right hand over the top by Cordina. Over. Thank fucking God. God bless you, Joe Cordina. I take back everything I've fucking said. He looked, he looked razor sharp. Razor sharp. Great, great finish. Stephen Fulton went the distance with this dude. Joe Cordina knocks him out in one round. Joe Cordina, pound for pound, number one. Good finish for you. God, indeed. God bless Joe. Starfished. He does a bit, actually. Yeah, he does, actually. Yeah, exactly. GTA roleplay on Minecraft. Oh, it looks sick, you know, Unrivaled. I need something for... Um, so eventually I want to go start streaming on the other channel. And I need some, like, overlays uh, and background. So that would be ideal, actually. And I could also use it in videos as well, actually, as well. So it's ideal. I need that sort of thing. So it, look, it, looks, it looks perfect to me. Yeah, Fort was not a big puncher, that's true. Yeah, the Recon got whooped. He did. Recognize uh, his people are letting him down right now. Yeah, yeah, it's a ref stoppage. Yeah, it's true. That's a good shot, though. Really good shot. A bit of excitement, lads. A bit of excitement. No, it was a left hook that um, Hernandez threw, not a jab. He threw a left hook, like, out of range. And Cordina just timed it beautifully. Yeah, he got... <laughs> the way he went down, man. Good shot by Cordina. And he deserved to get knocked out for those fucking shorts as well. You know those tassel shorts? Fucking idiot. Good finish though, Joe Cordina. Yeah, John Ryder was supposed to fight... Um, What's the dude's name? David Morell. <laughs> for fuck's sake, quickest bet I've lost in the boxing bet in my life. Cordina's off a Christmas card list. <laughs> Yeah, the beer's going to keep me going, G-Man. Indeed. Goodness me. Oh, God. All right. I'm on my second can. I downed one whilst watching that for you. A bit of excitement. Yeah. Uh, not bad. Not bad. God bless I feel, him. I feel reinvigorated. Like, God bless the lad, mate. God bless him. He saved us all, didn't he? Yeah, it's a good good result for him. Oh, why are they putting this weird commercial on? Have you seen this before? No. Listen to it, it's awful. Oh my god, look how bad it is. It's so bad. 
Now, hell, let me ask you a question. All right, you see the Paramount dad, the movie? Makes yep. sense, right? right? Why did the zone have an ad to sign up for the zone on the zone? Makes sense. Maybe it's to the stream about people who are streaming it for free. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of because I know people are stealing this shit. That's 400 IQ points right there, isn't it? <laughs> that, is, that is like 40 chess. <laughs> Thank God. You know, here, Del, do you know what I'm eating right now while having a drink? Go on. I'm having a gorgeous time out way from him. Haven't had one in forever. I got some cookies. I got some cookies I can eat if I want them. I'm just fucking full up. Have you ever had a toy meal? Oh yeah, of course. Classic, aren't they? They are. They are solid. They are solid. Can't go wrong. Fuck's sake, man! Come on. Ask, do you know what? Here's a weird question for the people in the chat since we've got time to fill in. What's your favorite biscuit? Slash bar slash cake to have with a cup of tea slash coffee. Do you feel me there, Del? You have I've, to got ask Mar- those I've got Maryland's Maryland's cookie. Is that your favorite to have with a cup of tea? Yeah, man. Facts. Nah. I'm going to bore you to death. My favorite thing to have with a cup of tea is a hobnob. Twix, Richard Harris says. I'll do like a Twix. I like a Twix now. I'll big up to Max Cuckerman, by the way. He's paid for my design subscription for this month. Just about. J- yeah, just about. Big up to Max Cuckerman. I would never give Eddie Hearn a dollar. <laughs> I can spare two quid for him. But I-, I didn't pay for Sky Sports towards the end, to be honest. I got rid of Sky a while ago, in all honesty. A long while ago. But yeah, I'll keep I'll keep the zone for as long as it's one ninety nine, and when it goes up in price, we'll see. Stefano Prime with the hot take: Time Out are in the top five greatest chocolate bars of all time. Fact. They are nice. They're good. And but are they the better way, than they better than a snack? Mm, yeah, I'd say so. What Big up to Max again, snack? by the way. What about the purple snack bar? Protein bar and tea. Now, what protein bar are you getting, though, Gina? Some of those things are rank. Yeah. Hobnobs. I do like hobnobs. They are nice. I said that's my favorite. Digestive, yeah. I love a hobnob with a cup of chai. But do you know what I really love, man? Just a straight-up rich tea. Um, Miami uh, on. They're all right, but I, I mean... Where do you stand on Jaffa cakes? Uh, I can take them or leave them. I'll eat them if somebody gave them to me. Uh, to me, but I, I wouldn't buy them myself. Yeah, right. I'll give you a harder one: a Mercado or a Jammy Dodger. Jammy Dodger. Jammy Dodger all day. Yeah. El Dog he says he likes a nice black coffee with a chocolate chip cookie. Keep it simple. I like black coffee as well. To be honest, that's solid. Solid. No sugar, just fucking coffee. Boom. Ness, I have that Nessa Azera. You know that fucking like powdery coffee. Oh, the, the coffee. Azera. Though. Yeah, I like that. You know, I, over there like now, I had a cup of instant earlier. I had a, I, I just had a regular uh, rich blend Maxwell House. Never heard of it. Best tea bag. Oh, I'll just go Tetley's. You know, I've gone off tea these days. I'm a coffee guy now. Anybody who's ever had it will understand, man. Lion's tea. Never had it. That's a good shout, actually. I do agree with this. Snickers. For a quick snack. That's a good shout. Would you prefer Snickers to a... To a like, this doesn't have nuts, but would you prefer it to a Yorkie? Yeah, I'll find Snickers like a more filling. If we're going filling, I love a Lion Bar now. Yeah, Lion Bars are nice. I know he's them and the toffee crisper quality. Star bar or anything Cadbury? Best thing Cadbury have ever made, I don't care what anybody says, is a whisper. Whispers are nice, but I like Whis- the crunchies. 
crunchies are lovely too, but like just for chocolate, you know what I mean? You can't be a whisper, man. You can't. I do love a crunchy though. I can't. I don't feel too Jay Z down there. He looks picnics. I can't feel that. I can't be having a picnic. Feels wrong. There's raisins in them. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up to Max Cookerman. Oh, he's come back. He says, "I've given Del Boy more money in five minutes than boxing in ten years." Well, it's it's money well spent, Max. It's money well spent. Now, much appreciated, uh, Max. Much appreciated, bro. I tell you what, I think I fucking deserve it for sitting through this garbage. Fucking hell, I've struggled with this. You got three months of the zone now, mate. Three, yeah, indeed. It's not like me who did the refer of friends shit at the start of it when I got the. I, I asked would they change it so that I could uh, I could get a month for every person that I referred, and I've referred a hundred people. So I've got like what was it, two hundred and twelve people? So I got two hundred and twelve months of the zone. That's solid. Huh? <laughs> that is solid. <laughs> Eighteen, nineteen years free, man. <laughs> yeah, Yorkies are nice. Lion bars are nice, though. They are nice. Yeah. Picnics, uh... a whisper, man. A twirl is nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do a like twirl. A twirl is a chocolate covered flake. Yeah, it's still nice though. But I'd rather just have the flake. Yeah. <laughs> Boneville. <laughs> you mean Barville? A uh, picnic. Nah. Where do you stand? Where do you stand on Turkish? No. You know, you know I'm not a fan. There. Junior hit the nail on the head. One of the greatest chocolate confectionaries of all time, Munchies. That was your quality. Yeah, I see. I'm not a big chocolate guy these days. I've got to really fancy it, you know. You guys have bounty. We do. I hate bounty. I see. I like bounty. You see, in, in my household, I was growing up. Like, uh, you know, the box of celebrations at Christmas. It was always the bounty that was left in one container. Always. Yeah. What else? Fuck. There's a few I like. There's, I do. Uh, there's a few I don't mind, but. Okay. Spawatsy's coming up soon. Dairy milk before Craft bought Cadbury was elite. Can't go wrong with a dirty milk. I don't mind Galaxy actually. I've always found the uh, Galaxy are a bit too sweet. Yeah, three months of Laura Woods, on, uh, courtesy of Max. What did you make of Galaxy Revels? That was nice. I thought that was all right. Look at Richard in the chat, Corley Worley. I'm not going to lie though, L Dog. I actually rate um, Ali Drew over Laura Woods. I'm not going to lie. All right, Laura Woods over Ali Drew. I don't know, man. Okay, let's have a look at Ali Ali Drew. I keep on I keep on wanting to say Ali G. And let me put a little change my avatar pick to old Ali Drew. How do you do this gaff? I forgot how to do it. Me too. On the computer, I forgot how. So let's get rid of David Benavidez, ugly cunt. I'll get rid of him. Fuck, hope. Ah, oh, shit. That's Ali Drew. Hang on. I'm getting Lara Woods. Right? She's banging, though. Ali Drew's nice. I need to find oh, yeah. a more up close picture, though. Yeah, well, you've gone for the full body photo. I'm just going for the face. Man. Edit audio avatar. Get rid of Guillermo Rigondeau and his fucking... <laughs> 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 nah, I'll get rid of Donovan Mitchell. All right. Let's go with this. Curly Whirly. I'm not a fan of Curly Whirly, Richard. I can't lie. I'm not a bit not a big fan. 
I say five minutes to be safe, hell dog. Laura Woods just looks more classy, innit? I think she doesn't have a nicer body, though. I'll say that she's really skinny. Quinda Bueno, yeah, white Quinda Bueno. That's a good shout, actually. Yeah, hey Ali, have you seen my? Have you ever seen my video? Where's the piss bottle? <laughs> Ali Drew is too skinny for Dell. Oh, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, look at this. Is that Ali Drew? Gosh, if that is, she's got a nice R set. I'm a, uh, listen, I'm a man of many tastes when it comes to women. I don't really have an ideal per se. I don't have like a, I don't have a type. It's the only, the, the only thing you will say is when it comes to women's size, does matter. Yeah, not, not fat. The fat are the better. Christ. That looks as women built like Dave Allen. Oh no. <laughs> That's a better picture of Ali Drew. There you go. Minstrels are elite. They are elite, yeah. <clears throat> Cube Munster just lost money on Hernandez. What? How did you do that? <laughs> I've got no idea. You bet on them. I would buy the pay per view if money went to my, uh, Manny in the Philippines and not Al Heyman. I agree. PSK says Laura Woods is just a standard London bird. Check her out on the Talksport YouTube streams. You'll see what I mean. That's true. It's, it's all right by me. I'm not a fussy man. I'm not a fussy man. PSK is telling the truth on the next line, though. K Abdo got the worst fake tan, though. Fox. I don't Facts. give a fuck. I she, 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 Kate Abdo has never moved out of working at that pharmacy when she was 18. I'm telling you. She has the same fake tan those pharma boards do. Mate, after a night with her, yeah, my dick will be a different shade to me. It'll be like maybe it, will, maybe it will be, but your bed sheets will look like you shot the bed 14 times. <laughs> Mate, streaks will be all over the gaff. She can do what she wants, man. I'll, I'll change my bed sheets every night for uh, Kate Abdo. She's nice. I don't mind Kate Abdo. Revels are what you need when you've had a few dabs. Fuck you know. I don't mind Revels vote. They're quite nice. Yeah, Revels are our vote, man. I think so, crazy. I think she's mixed, yeah. Big up to Timmy Nealon. Laura Woods is a nice, classy-looking broad. A classy look, indeed. John Gonzalez is not bad. Ali G, Ali, Ali G. Ali Drew has the better body, but Laura's classier. Class, class is irrelevant, man. Class is irrelevant. To be honest, I wouldn't be able to fuck Ali Drew. Why not? A hands. What's wrong with her hands? That fucking big. Okay, I'm going to have to research this. I need to see her in real time, really. Just go to her Instagram. Yeah. I fingers wrap around that microphone 15 times, lad. Wouldn't bother me, man. It nah, wouldn't bother me. Our hands are huge. I'm sorry, I can't. It also looks like she's covering up an Adam's apple in most of those shots. Man, you're being you're being overly critical. No, I'm being dead ass. Overly critical. Nah, you just don't want to see it.
But yeah, she would get it though. She's objectively better looking than Laura Woods in every way. I don't see it. I really don't. I think she looks a bit masking. Nah, I don't think so. But we're in agreement Maya is levels above both. Facts, yeah, facts. Levels. There's a lot of people out there that oh, I don't like Maya. I think Ma <laughs> Jay Dev, Dev trying to rewrite uh, rewrite history there, Chubby Chaser. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a great question from AA. This one, yeah. Well, Anthony Joshua, Kid Galahad. <laughs> Are you talking about the ones who don't? A Kole. Outside of the ones who don't have world titles. Jack Catterall. Warnington. What? Jack Catterall's not match room. He's Queensbury. Oh, oh yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. Daniels asks, when's the main event? In a few minutes. Five five minutes, maybe. Maya Jammer. Yeah, PSK. Maya's the best looking for me, but annoying personality wise. Never seen another Somalian look like her before. True. Fino boxing. I mean, Fino's all right, but like, I think she's a bit overrated. Like in the mo like, I'll put it this way with Fino boxing. Yes, yeah, she's she's for, like massive tits and that, but like in the modeling world, she she's not even average. She no, she's not not in the modeling world, but. As far as my taste go and the fact she's slimmed down, she's she's like slim thick, bro. I think her face is drastically overrated, Fino boxing. I'll be I don't honest. think she has a, I don't need a great face. Have you seen how thick she is? I, I okay. <clears throat> I I think I think a really naturally pretty face is actually rarer these days than actually finding a bird that is like relatively well stacked. Like nice ass, nice tits. I think a prettier face is hard to find, and that I've, I've got to rate that to some extent. I understand that, but when you're comparing her to a lot of boards who face whose faces aren't amazing, they're all like solid, like eight out of tens. But the like stackness in comparison ain't nowhere near on the same level. You got to take that into consideration too. This is a pound for pound conversation we're having here. And this is the only girl with two massive knockouts on her resume. AA Boxing, what do you reckon the average IQ of these three stooges on the zone? I'm guessing low 30s. Yeah, Connor probably brings it down to like 30. Connor's the only one on that panel who speaks two languages. That's true, actually. That's true. Tony Bell, you speak Scouse, uh, Scouse and English, though, to be um, fair. He, mate, he, he, he doesn't speak English, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Gutted. L Dog's not a fan of Maya. Odd. Nah, That's leave cool. leave Ali Drew leave Ali Drew's hands alone, man. I'm gutted for Jazza. Gutted. Kugan. I'm gutted. Kugan, you'll never see I'm... me here again. G man, you'll never. I'll be hundred percent. I can't see the hype about Maya. She's all right, but nothing special. Sorry, G man. G man doesn't even look tattoos. I do, and it depends on the girl, and it? it's it's one of those things. It all depends on the girl. Yeah, but for him, it's not like he sees them; it's gone, it's over. Certain tattoos are disgusting, like tramp stamps. Like G Man put a question at the bottom there, though. Do you see it? And that question is painful. Michelle Joy Phelps. I'll tell you what I do. We'd walk up to Del Boy. I'll give him the password to me account. And I'd tell him to upload that he's seen me suffer a retina tear and that I'm not able to participate in that contest. <laughs> John Gonzalez, he says, Fino boxing is the worst. I see those average pigs at taco restaurants with three kids and no dads. <laughs> I want to I wanna uh, go where you're living, John. 
I, I, said, to, I said to John, let's go to Texas, man. I want to go to let's, Texas. Let's go. I want to go there. Those average pigs. Mate, where I'm from, do you know what it's like living in Ireland? Some Irish girls are all right. Please. So I uh, met some Irish bird in Bulgaria, some fucking rep. She's like some little bitch, but like she was fine. <laughs> she was all right. She was a fucking lunatic, though. She fucking robbed me as well the next fucking morning. <laughs> Cunt. Yes. Oh. oh, that's gas, you know. You got robbed by some little fucking midget fucking Canelo wannabe. No, she was all right. It was worth it. She only robbed like, I think it was like 100 lev. It wasn't much. It's like 40 quid maybe. But still, it's a oh, principle. 40 lev. Oh, Belotniks is making his ring walk. I'm from England, Daniel, and Mark is from Ireland. Belotniks is making his walk to the ring. He looks hyped as fuck, like he snorted a fat line of Colombian. Cheesy grin on his face, jumping up and down. What song is he coming out to? I don't know, but he's got a swag walk. That's he a does. Walk purpose. Do you see that? Look at the grin on his look face there. Yeah. That's <laughs> now that is the most entertaining thing I've seen on the card. Look at Belotniks. <laughs> he's a character, actually. I've seen a few, a few of his interviews. Seem like a bit of a joker. Am I wrong for saying Belotniks has a better resume than Daniel uh, than Joshua Buwati? Nah. Egorov, Stephen Ward. Sergey Michel, Josea Burton. He's, yeah, he's got better wins. What's Buati's best win? A Croatian? Yeah, Kalic, I would say. Yeah. Then maybe Ryan Ford. Yeah, he gets paid well, James, yeah. It's crazy. Is it any wonder that the lad is fighting like two fights a year? I'll do if... the same thing. Getting three hundred k a year for two scraps. What's he coming out to? Is he coming out to Anton Cole? This is a shit song. Oh. Muted. That's true, James Lord. It's crazy how we call Belotniks and Babbage characters, right, Dad? They aren't under pressure to be humble. Yeah, but uh, at least Belotniks actually, he, he's gone in the fire. He's actually fought guys who we, who we were supposed to lose against. Like, he wasn't supposed to win the golden contract. He was supposed to lose every single fight. But, well, apart from the final. But he was supposed to be a fodder kind of thing. But he went in there and he, and he done the job, so... At least that guy has actually done something to, to a certain extent. I'm dead serious. He's capable of battling Buwati. I don't know. I've never been impressed with Joshua, man. I'll get shift from a lot of matchroom fans for that. I just, I'll be honest with you. I, I like watching Buwati fight. I think he's got some good uh, good ability, but like, I, I just don't know what to make of him still. Has he progressed? That's what I'm saying. I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure about him. Has Balotniks progressed? Yeah, he's got better. Has he bridged the gap from when Buatsi started? That's the question. Be interesting. See how Buatsi does power. hit hard. He does hit hard. But yeah, like Balotniks took power at cruiserweight. You know, he went the distance with Mickey Nielsen. I know Mickey Nielsen, Mickey Nielsen isn't great, but he's a cruiserweight still. Still not a punch rack cruiserweight. Mm. It's just heavy. It's fucking hell. 
Howard Foster. That's not a good sign, Howard Foster. L Dog says Boazzi's good in my opinion. Not sure Virgil was the right coach. Yeah, I agree. I'm not sure about Virgil either. Start. No. no. Fucking clown. That's, ter that's terrible. I do feel for him though that they have to use crap like that, bro. Because let's uh, let's get ready to rumble his trademarks with Buffer. Yeah, the fight starts now. Sounds so tacky. I, I actually, my favorite announcer, like controversially, isn't Buffer. I agree. I, 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 like, I agree. Yeah, showtime. He looks like good, Nick, doesn't he? The lot, Nick's. He does. His hair's all kind of jacked up, though. Just shave yeah. it off, man. He kind of looks like some, a, a little bit like Saunders from the top, doesn't he? A little bit. A little bit. He's, even, he's more jacked than he was in the golden contract. Yeah, he's looking in good. Well, he's had a lot of. He's had a lot of notice for this, hasn't he? Mm. Eight weeks, isn't it? They've had eight weeks. <clears throat> what do you think of Virgil Hunter? Not convinced. Not convinced, to be honest. He's very but, heavily rated by a lot of people, isn't he? Yeah. I, bet, I guess the only good thing is, like, at least he's taken Bawatsi from relatively early in his career. Whereas, like, guys like Amir Khan and Gulo... Mm -hmm. He took yeah. these guys late on, kind of thing. So, but can Buatti do the things Ward did in fights? No, like even down to the dirty style of fighting, I don't think so. I always think Buatti looks small at light heavyweight as well, but yeah, but he's already nearly bound dry in muscle. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. It's it's weird. <clears throat> Here we go. Mm, they didn't want to touch gloves. Look at the six pack on Balotnik's. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. He's jacked. He didn't have one of them before, did he? No, I don't think he did. Yo, if he wins this, expect a no contest. Yeah. Yo, look at the muscles on his back, fam. And he's got some old man hair hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> Boatsy's pushing out the jab. It's not landing. He's just trying to find the range. Yeah. A lot Nick sitting off jabs downstairs, right hand from Boatsy. Not bad so far. Jab Good to the jab. body by Bolotnix. Right hand from Bolotnix and out. Evaded the hook. Stab from Boatsy with the right hand. Good parties. Mm. I like the way Boatsy started by behind the jab. Yeah, me too. Looks nice and sharp. A lot's been blocked. Nice, nice body shot by Balonix. Left hand. Good jab by Boatsy. Good jab by Boatsy again. Lovely. Stiff jab. Now he's not looking too small, though. No, that's true, actually. Depends on what angle you catch him from. Good right hand by Bolotnix over the top. Boatsy takes it well. Bit of reddening on Bolotnik's face. Have you seen that? A little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's just around the nose area. Bolotnix has his own good work going on from Yeah, there. he does. Right to the body by Bolotniks. Left hook, right hand by Bolotniks. Right hand again by Bolotniks. Good little, good start to this fight. Barassi comes back, tries a left hook to the body. Both exchange jabs. This is going to be the best fight in this card. Mm. Good jab by Barassi. Jab again by Boatsy. 
Balotnik looks for the overhand again. <clears throat> Misses that time. See that uppercut that Buwati missed with, though? Mm. He's looking for a heavy. Good job. Both exchange hook. hooks. Yeah. That's two, though, from Balotnik's. Yeah, one body from Buwati, yeah. That jab is doing damage. Look at his face. It's getting through, isn't it? Yeah. Nice jab by Bolognix there. Little up jab. Good first round. I'd, I'd give it to Boatsy, but it's a, it's a good round. He had enough volume to get it on the jab, but I'm, I'm going. I know that we're going to see people giving that to Bolognix, man. I know we are. Because he landed the bigger shots. He landed six or seven telling hooks in that shot, in that round. It's a good round. Look at those fucking people in the crowd, man. Look like NPCs. <laughs> right. They're gutted that they spent 750 for this show. But this, <laughs> this fight may, may save it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I liked this fight beforehand for, for Boatsy. I thought Bolonix was a good little step up. i seen somebody on Twitter actually complaining that the crowd was dead. And I'm like, can you blame them? That Roy Ham was gorgeous. Mm. And that caught one there his, too. Yeah, caught his left low. Yeah. Good round. Really fun. Nice round. A bit more jab activity from Buatsi, and he needs to disguise the Roy. Mm. Good jab by Buatsi. Stella no, done great commentary. Yeah. Lovely, lovely jab. Both guys exchanging. Who actually got the better of it. Lead hook by Boatsy. No, another lovely jab by Boatsy. Left hook. From Belotniks. I'm loving the variance there from uh, Belotniks to get to get his jab off. Yeah. Lots he's, of he's step, yeah, yeah. Stepping off the line, dropping low. Nice, nice uh, defense there from Belotniks. Yeah. And nice jab too. And he evaded the hook. Right hand by Belotniks. Good shot. Oh, Beautiful no, shit. Did it land? Uh, Grace, Grace, good attempt at least. Partial block off the shoulder and into the head. But actually, he's a lot more jab heavy this round, not as many hooks. No, Andy Lee commenting on the size of Bonat next, and he looks huge. He does. Not Good body work by Boatsy. Great left hook. Mm. That's better by Boatsy. Very purposeful. Good jab by Boatsy. Good left hook. Stunned him a little. His feet are a little wobbly. Nice right to the body. Right hand by oh. Bolognix, but Boatsy comes back with body shots. It's a good fight, though. Mm. Boatsy just stalking. He does have nice punch technique, Boatsy. Yeah, he does. But it's the same over and over again, if yeah. you're honest. That's what I like, though. Bolotniks actually making him work. Left hook by Boatsy, right hand by Bolotniks. That was a good right to the body from Bolotniks. Yeah, good shot. Good round. This is a good fight, fellas. Are you impressed, though? Um, I think it's a solid, solid is start. This 
it, what you see here is this the next British star that they were saying? It's still too early for me, but I, I, I no, 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 no. It's it's technical, but it's yeah. So Virgil's saying, keep the feints, disguise a little bit more with the right hand, keep pumping the jab, keep pushing the jab straight into him, keep him moving up and down, and when he comes in, lead him into the right. He's giving him great yeah. advice there, man. Great advice. I, yeah, I agree with Eldog. I've got it. I've got it. Twenty eighteen. Boatsy. <laughs> Max Cuckerman says Boatsy cuts the ring off pretty good. He does stalk really well, actually. Yeah, I've got a twenty eighteen too. But, but the first two rounds have been close enough. Belotnik's coming out jabbing behind that guard. Good jab there by Belotnik. Scott Prover. Interesting fight. Good jabs there by Belotnik. So not, not all heavy jabs, but a couple got through. <clears throat> Good left hook by Belotnik. Lead left hook. Good jab by Boatsy. Come, coming back there. Taking their turns here. Right hand by Belotnik. But Boatsy comes back. A little exchange. You can tell... You, you can tell Belotniks is a, is a live wire man. The livest guy he's been in with. Yeah. Him and Kalich. Him and Kalich. Kalich gave him a good fight. He did. Because Kalich was beating him. Nice jab there by Belotniks. And the overhand right as well. I think he blocked it though. Good jab again by Belotniks. And again. But nice. That's better from Boatsy though. The right missed, he's got slipped. The left landed, though. What good block very, there by Bawatsi. Yeah, very good block. Good right hand to the body there by Bawatsi. Missed the left hook, though, but the right hand was good. Ooh. Ooh, fucking hell, Bawatsi. You need to take his head offline because he nearly got caught there. Mm. Belotnik's looking for that shot. He is. You can see him setting the trap too. It's easy to watch this fight and you think to yourself, what happens if it's Baturbiev? Yeah, that's a very good jab from Buatsi. Yeah, that is a lovely jab. Good block again by Buatsi with a left hook. No, he, he took, he took a, a bit of that. He blocked his arm, but the punch landed on the cheek. 100%. Nice right hand by Belotnik. Jab by Boazzi. That stabbing right hand to the body that Belotnik's throw sometimes could be a good little shot for him. Good good right hand to the body by Belotnik's. He gets tagged up, Boazzi. There's no doubt about it. Good right hand by uh, Boazzi, though. Pretty good round, this. Another good round. Good right. Ooh. I've got it close round. It is a competitive round again, but I've got it 3 0, Boatsy. I've got it 2 1. 2 1. The work he did later in the round wasn't enough to all, like, because it was give and take later on, right? Mm. But he was getting enough off to take the later part of it. But he was getting landed on two consecutively early on. So between the whole round, like if you're scoring the last two minutes, I understand the Buatsi thing. He, he landed four or five more punches in the last two minutes. But in the first round, he took nine punches and he, he landed one. Yeah. Okay. Max says um, Buatsi fights at one speed. He does. Yeah. He does, yeah. <clears throat> I like his style, though. <clears throat> I like how he, he commits to every punch. Nice technique on his punches. I do like his style. He technically does the, um, the basics quite well, Buatsi. I think that's Josh, uh, Josh admiring his work too much. He needs to be busier. I'd agree with that. Round four. This has been fun. Yeah. L-Dog, Barazzi, so, uh, so stiff upstairs. He doesn't move his head offline. Exactly. Like, you were talking about, like, Baturbiev, right? 
But like I'm thinking like the person the top light heavyweight in his sanctioning body, which is Bevol, with that straight line, he oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Good left hook by Boasi, right hand by Boasi. Bolotnik takes it. He's exchanging. And he's took it, Bolotniks. Good jab by Bolotniks. Coming back there. But Bwatsi coming in there with, with hooks to the body and head. Bolotniks definitely felt that, that hook previously. Yeah, look at his legs. They're a little ginger, aren't they? Bwatsi going for the overhand. But he took the shots well. He rolls, we know it's um, below. Yeah, he's he, rolling he, shots. He rolls well, doesn't he, with his shoulder? He's a good fireman. Still doing a joke. No, nah, he's not. Overhand by Ooh. Belotniks. Top of the head, though. Good jab by Bawatsi. Jabbed from the hip there. I like that. Bit of variation on the jab. Good block there on the check left. It was a beautiful block. From Good right to the body, Bolotniks. Yeah. The hair still. I know. <laughs> it's like Bawatsi now is looking to try and walk him into something. Yeah, the upper call. The specialty shot, isn't it? Mm-hmm. A jab by Bawatsi. Lovely shot. I love his jab, man. It's powerful. It's a lovely punch. Good mm. body shot. Eyes blow. I've never seen that before, have you? No. Oh. Bawatsi's loading up a bit too much for my liking there. Got to be careful because that overhand right. And jab dominant this round. Oh, get he got close there, Bolotniks, with the overhand. Mm -hmm. It's a good fight for Bawatsi. So make it having to make him work, which is good. Mm. Lovely left hook by uh, Bawatsi. Bolotniks felt that, but he's still on his feet. And he's dancing. Oh, yeah, he's showing he's okay. The weight knocked him to the side. I'll and tell the, you what. Yeah. Let's let's talk about that one moment, though. I don't like that from Bawatsi. I don't like that. He hits him on the belt line, right? Mm. Or maybe it's low. But he steps off and he calls that he fell the guy. I don't yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't Go like that The referee didn't call it. Go for it. Go for it. I said the same thing with, with uh, Johnny Fisher the other day when he uh, hit the guy on the ground and he apologized straight away. I don't want to see don't, it. Don't do that. You, you 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 make a foul. You break the rules. Fuck it. Go for it. I don't want to. I don't like that, man. I don't. Because it shows me lack of killer instinct. Other people will talk about all his other killer instincts, but in that moment, he could have gone for it, couldn't he? Mm. Round four. Like Bo, yeah, round four. Another clear Boatsy round for me. Oh, yeah. It's four zip. May you have a case of three one, right? The first round, maybe the second, but you have a case. But four zip. But it's been made to work, which is good. Right hand to the body there by Bolotniks. Overhand by Boatsi. Be interesting if this goes deep, how the power carries for Boatsi. I'm kind of hoping Belotniks makes it into the sixth round because that's what I have uh, in the prediction league. Mm. <laughs> Good job by Boatsi. There's a lot to Belotniks here. Mm. He can take care of himself, he can look after himself. I, I love the yeah. I love that. Pace has slowed ever. Oh, lovely right hand by Bawatsi. Oh, great right hand to the body, Bolotniks.
We just said about Andy Lee, his head is always high on centre line. Andy Lee is stealing the commentary, though. He's I listening. Know, what a cunt. Another good right to the body there by Bolotniks. That's a good shot for him in this fight. I said it earlier. Mm -hmm. Lovely uppercut, Bolotniks. Right uppercut. Hooked by Boatsy. Good jab by uh, Boatsy. Good hook, Boatsy. Lovely. Lovely but left hook to the body there, Bolotniks. Uh, good jab, Boatsy. Lovely jab again, Boatsy. Right hand, left hook, Boatsy. Oh, lovely body shots, Boatsy. Looking purposeful here, Boatsy. One more round. Good jab there, Velotniks. Good, oh, lovely left hook to the body there. I think some power has come off of Velotniks at this Yeah, time. I agree. He's taking a lot of damage. Good right hand by Belotniks. Bawatsi says he doesn't feel it. Uppercut by Belotniks. He get... Oh. He's still play. in there. <laughs> Lovely body shots, uh, Bawatsi. Right hand to the head. He's a tough cunt, isn't he, Bawatsi, uh, Belotniks? Let me give you Andy Lee's worst bit of commentary in this round real fast, yeah? When Bawatsi's pressing forward looking for the shots, yeah? He's saying... Oh, Bubatsi's trying to lead him on to something. That's not how that fucking works, man. Oh, that yeah, annoys that's... me. He knows his boxing. Mm. That is true, Alan. Yeah, Bubatsi thinks every shot's going to KO Bolotniks. Yeah. And yeah, old dog's right. Bolotniks is the definition of crafty. Indeed. He can look after himself. Who would you give that round to, Del? Uh, Bubatsi, I'd say. I think, like, some of the rounds have been competitive, but... To me, Bavatsi's work's just been cleaner. And he's I've done more got, of it. I've got a 4-1. Good right it's good he's going rounds, though. Or 4-1, yeah. Because yeah, we haven't had the sixth round yet, PSK. Yeah, PSK right, though. Yeah. His eye could go. Who, Bavatsi's? Bolotniks. Yeah. Bolotniks. So yeah, Andy Lee gave Bolotniks a first round as well. Yeah, I, f I feel him. Good jab there, but uh, Bawatsi. Another good right to the body there by Bolotniks. Lovely uppercut, Bawatsi. Overhand right, follows up. He's got great chin, Bolotniks. So great survival instincts too. Mm. Another good right to the body, Bolotniks. Little crafty right hands. Little stab there to the chest. And Buatsi slowing down just a little. Good, good check counters. You still there, Del? Yeah. Enthralled. He is slowing down, though. Buatsi, yeah, he is. See, look at the jab. It's looking laboured. Good left hook to the body there, B uh, Bolotniks. He hasn't had this level of attrition before, I don't think. No, I know yeah. college gave him some, like with the cut and all, but I'm talking like well-placed shots to the body and to the head. Yeah. Lovely oh, left hook, Buatsi. Down goes Bolotniks. Both exchange punches. Boatsy's left hook got there first. Bolotniks looks okay. But I'm not sure. Let's have a look. No, I don't know. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. Yeah. He's hurt. Boatsy's looking for the finish. Exchanging. Bolotniks is still there. Bolotniks is still standing, but he's fucking badly hurt. Boatsy's throwing hooks, loading up. 
missed the swing and a miss with the right hand. But Belotnik has he has he steadied the ship? He's clinching. The ref separates him. He looks a bit better. And ha and has Bawatsi punched himself out? It's a good question. Who the fuck knows? It's fucking interesting, man. Ooh, and he's trying it good. again. He's breathing, Bawatsi. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Has he punched himself out? Lovely left hook to the body by Bawatsi. Oh, right, right hand to the body by Bawatsi. That's fucking good shit. But Bolognix comes back with a combination. This is turning into a hell of a fight, man. Great fucking round. That clear Bawatsi, obviously. Like, he's 5-1 up to 10-8. I'm pissed he didn't finish him there, man, in the prediction league. Great round. Fair play to Foster for not stopping it. I'm sick of British fucking stoppages. And to be honest, he could have got away with it because Buwati was landing a lot clean for a little bit there, you know what I mean? Mm. After the knockdown, you were even screaming, he's hurt, he's hurt, he's hurt, you know? Yeah, he was hurt. He was. He got through it quick. He, caught, he got through it well, though, Belotniks. Oh, that's a hell of a left uppercut. Was that a hook or an uppercut? Yeah, he's taking a bit of a pace in, Anthony, but he's still in there. He's a tough old boy, isn't he, Belotniks? He's a tough old boy. Perfect fight for Bawatsi. Do you think Bawatsi rushed that? He did a bit, yeah. He got a bit too gung-ho. But I don't blame... I mean, it's one of those things, isn't it? Round seven, though. It's what he needs. If he was patient, he would have got criticised as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's one of those things, isn't it? Good jab there by Belotniks. Both exchange jabs. Ooh, oh, nice right. left hand by Belotniks. Really liking this fight, man. Good jab by Belotniks. I think Boatsy's taking a bit of a breather here. Yeah? Good left hook by Boatsy. Lovely left hook to the body. Combination to the body from Belotniks. Belotniks has started this round quite well. He's in the lead in this round. I think, I think Boatsy's taking a bit of a walk. To be honest. Mm. See, this is good matchmaking. You'll find out a lot more about Bawatsi. Like it's a fight you should win, but can give him something. Yeah. But and if he's and if he isn't good enough, like Balotnix is the sort of guy who, who would expose you. So yeah, it's because we know Balotnix isn't good enough. Mm. But we know he's solid. You know yeah. what I mean? Kind of like Igor McCalkin in a way, isn't he? Yeah. He's that sort of level. Like he'd, Igor would find out a lot of prospects. At least three years ago, he would have gone all about now. Mm. Well, that's his output's definitely dropped in this round. Good jabs to the body, Bolotniks. Good body shot by uh, Bolotniks. Left hook. Another right hand to the body by Balotniks. Lovely left hook to the body by Bawatsi. Oh, it's low again, apparently. Let's have a look. I want to see a replay of it. That's two low blows by Bawatsi where he's been warned. One more and you're getting a point deducted. I'll... He's doing a great job of this fight, man. He is. Oh, right hand by Bolotniks over the top. Mm. Did you see that left that he went? Yeah. I'll tell you what, this is an interesting fight. You got distracted by something. There was a bell, man, and the, and the Bolotniks thought it was a bell. Jesus. Fucking hell.
Right hand by Bolognix. Good shot. Good from Buwati in return. Mm. That's, That's a Bolognix round. Yeah, Bolognix round, <clears throat> round seven. I've got a 4-2 Buwati. But That's the first time I gave to Bolognix. With a 10-8 in there. Yeah, well, we all know you were a British fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, good fight, though. Enjoyable fight. Oh, I'm loving it. The great stuff. James says Boazzi's gassed. Bolotnix is going to crack him. He looks tired. He does look tired. Uh, uh, Zion, he says, um, if Bolotnix doesn't step on the gas, Boazzi's going to get his win back and stop him next round. Maybe, but if Boazzi keeps taking the same shots, he may not be able to. Like, even with the gas, there's a lot of body shots going in here from Bolotnix. A yeah. lot of fighters will headhunt in that scenario where somebody's taking a round off, but did he? No, he went to the body quite a lot. Very, very, very tactical. It's weird, right? So, Bawatsi's winning this fight, clearly, yeah? But there's something about him that doesn't... It doesn't fill me with confidence against, like, an elite dude. Like, you know when B-Vol cruises, he looks comfortable. Yeah. Like, do you think Bawatsi looks completely comfortable? No. Neither do I. Like, I don't think b ever looks out of sorts at all, but, like, there's moments in this fight where you're questioning what happens if Bawatsi's against somebody with more power? More now can shift, change rhythm. You know what I mean? Oh, good, good shot hand. by Bawatsi. And he's loading up on everything now. If you don't get him out, okay, he's being patient. That's better. being patient. That's good. Smart, smart. Get to, get on the job. Left hook. Took a big left there. That came from the southpaw stamp. He Blotnix. did. <laughs> Where did that come? Oh, Blotnix is cut. Busted nose or busted eye, uh, or cut under the eye, which. Looks like the eye. Mm. Good body shots by Bolotniks and Boatsy felt those. He felt those a bit. Good jab by Boatsy. Left hook by Bolotniks. That got him his attention. Right hand by Bolotniks over the top. Boatsy's telling them no. Left hook, right oh. hand. Boatsy. He, 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 he took a knee. He took a knee. I swear he took a knee. He took a knee. Mm. I want to see the replay of that that again. I want to see if they'll let us see it too. Yeah. Left hook by Bolotniks. Right hand to the body, Bolotniks. Left hand from Bolotniks round A. This is a Bolotniks round though. Oh, Buwati's looking in trouble, mate. Look at his face, his expressions. Mm, He doesn't look comfortable to me, doesn't he? He's getting the jab in. This is a perfect fight for him, though. Oh, missed wildly with a left. Boatsy point deduction. A low blow. That's going to be a 10-8 round for me in the eighth. Point deduction for Boatsy. Good refereeing. Stop. Honestly, good refereeing. What do you think? I, I did it. To be honest, I've not seen the replay of any of them, so... It's hard to say. But if they're low blows, then yeah, good refereeing. The first two he warned him for the scene. He said, take your time, but Lotnick says I'm all right. What a lad. This, this yeah. is a proper good fight for Boatsy. Good, good jab, jab to the body. The tough cunt any for Lotniks. You're crazy. <laughs> Lovely left hook to the body. But as he felt that, he's... He's in trouble. Del, he's in trouble. Doesn't look... I wouldn't say go that far, but he's felt both No, he's shots. in trouble. Look at his body posture. Lovely body shot again. He's feeling yes. it. In play, Bet Bolotnik round 10. He's that's testing him, man. That's a 10 8 round. Bolotnik's with the point deduction, mate, because he won that. He's getting tested major. Would you He's agree got a bit Bil- of metal. He's got a bit of metal. Would you agree Bolotnik's won that round, even yeah. without the point deduction? Yeah. 100%. 10 8. So, 
Interesting fight, uh, L Dog. You were right, bruv. Was that the eighth round? Uh, I think so, um, yeah. Yeah, I've got a 5 3 Buwati and Boltman have a 10 eh? <laughs> it's, it's a good fight. It's a good fight. He does look tired, Anthony. Like, I, I after like the sixth round, I uh, know after after that big barrage where he where he dropped uh, Bolotniks, it's been after that really where he's looked a bit not spent, but interesting. What have you got at 6 2? Yeah, but that's a 10 8 round as well. We'll both have a 10 8 round, don't they? Yeah. Round nine. That's he keeps pulling at those shorts, man. Every time he gets caught to the body, he does that adjusted shorts, tries to pull him up kind of thing. Mm hmm. So, yeah, ninth rounds. 9, 10, 11, 12. Left. Well, Onyx is looking for that body. Yeah, me and uh, Andy Lee have the same scorecard. Oh, lovely work by Belotniks. Right hand to the head, left hook to the body. Left hook to the head by Belotniks. Oh, left hook to both, both guys exchange left hooks, both land. Left hook to the body by Belotniks. This guy is mad tough, man. Crazy Latvian. Probably he's training with Breedis, isn't he? Yeah. Good jabs, though, Boatsy. That's what you need. He needs that jab. He uses some of Breedis. There you go. Boatsy. That's a beautiful double jab. Right hand, Belotniks to the body. Good jab by Belotniks. Right hand, Belotniks. Good jab, Boatsy. Ooh. Why does he keeps touching at his eye? I don't think there's something right there, man. Are you noticing that? Mm. I'm not sure, man. He looks out of sorts right now, but I'll tell you that much. Good jab, uh, Belotniks. Good body oh, shots I... there by Belotniks. And a left hook to the body as well by Boatsy. Hmm. Boatsy, lovely hook to the body there as well. He's marching forwards, Boatsy. He's trying to bite down. Lovely left hook to the body, Boatsy. Looking for the right to the body as well. That's better from Boatsy. He's still losing this round. Uh, uppercut right, left hook by Bolotniks. Good jabs by Boatsy. Bolotniks comes back. So I think this is a tight round. No, I think Belotnik's oh, good jab, Belot Boatsy. Both, both landed jabs. Great left hook to the yeah. body. On the torn as well. Good jab, Boatsy. Oh, big body shots, Boatsy. <laughs> oh, big left hook, Boatsy. Oh, great fucking fight, man. I got that as a Boatsy round, mate. I'm not going to lie. Uh, no way in hell. <laughs> I'm just That's being it. straight with you. No way in hell. What? That's a great so, round. So the, the last minute of the round, he wins it, yeah? Nah, it's more than that. What was it? The 27 punches he took in the first two minutes of the round in comparison to six? Harder punches, bro. The harder punches, yeah? I love that. Great job from Buati off of a three hooks landed to the midsection from Belonix. <laughs> Look at that left hook, man. <laughs> bro, you can't push it past me, bro. I, see, I, I was watching the exact the, the both second. Landed, you both landed the exact same time with left hooks. My man uh, Belotniks went back. He felt it more. All right. What about when Buati landed a jab and Belotniks landed a four piece to the midsection? Never happened. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> I was literally like, what's he saying? <laughs> this is a great fight. Ah, uh, good body work, Buatsi. I've got a 5 4 to Buatsi. So I've got it, what, 7 3, I think? Yeah. 6 3. Or 7 2. 7 2. 
You got a 7 2 deal. No, I think it's 6 3. No, I think it's it's one of the two, 6 3 or 7 2. I'm not. I was at 5 3, you were at 6 2. You gave that to Buwati, that's 7 2. Good left hooks, Buwati. But B- Blotnix comes back with his own left hooks. Feels like bowati has got a second win, though, isn't it? Oh, that's better than Bolotnix. Both guys are in the trenches now, exchanging hooks. Lovely left hook to the body, Bowatsi. Uppercut Bowatsi. Left hook, Bolotnix. Right hand, Bowatsi. Great fucking exchanges. Both ex- both guys landing punches in the exchanges, but Bolotnix is feeling it. He's will in a little bit. Belotnix, though, sticking his tongue out in defiance. Tough cunt. Belotnix comes back with a little combo to the body. Not much on it. Good jab, Bawatsi. Good little combo from Belotnix up top. Lovely left hook to the body, Belotnix. Good jab, Bawatsi. A terrific fight. Ah, oh, uppercut, Bawatsi. Uppercut back from Belotnix. Right hand, Belotnix. Boatsy's coming back. Oh, fucking great fight, man. Good right hand to the body by Boatsy. Right hand to the head, uh, Boatsy. Oh, he was close there, Bolotnix. Oh, body shots there. He felt them. He felt those body shots. But Boatsy, he's thrown a lot in this round. He's put in a hell of a shift, Belotnik, I tell you. Hell of a shift. He's earned every penny he got tonight. 100%. And more. He deserves more. Eddie here and get the man a watch. Yeah. Do you agree with me, Dad? Get him a watch. Yeah, exactly. He's earned a watch. Nice little Rolex. Chuck him in there with Craig Richards, man. Give him another fight. If he loses, of course. I mean, if Buwatsi won't take the B-Ball for you, even if he loses, give him the fucking B-Ball for you. Mm, that's a Buwatsi round. Yeah, I agree with you. 6-4. Excellent fight, though, guys, in the chat. Gunner season. Virgil Hunter ain't that good, is he? Buwatsi won the ninth. Yeah, but old dog said so true, Mark. You know what I mean? So true. It's a hard one. How do you describe a second wind in a psychological sense to a non-physiological? Person? Oh, physiological sense to not to an unboxing person. I've got no fucking idea, to be honest. I would explain it to them like this. So, a second wind in a physiological sense is he started to capitulate, but then he retained his energy and upped his volume levels again. After taking damage, he was able to find a way to push through and get the damage out there. Mm-hmm. That's how you would do that. That's how you would explain that. Yeah, I agree with Eldor. But it's yeah. much easier to say a second wind. Facts. Good jab. Great jab there by Bawatsi. Ramrod. I'm going to be dead honest. I've needed to take a piss for 23 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Nice Great left shot. hook. Yeah. Good Ooh. shots there by uh, Bolotnik there to the body. I've had a blast on this boy. It's been good. I want a bit of drama. I want a bit, one more bit of drama. Do you know what foot I'd like to see after this? If, right. if Bolotnik loses. Bolotnik versus Adam Dini's. It's a good fight. Would you watch it? Yeah, I'd watch it. It's, good. it's a good fight. Look at Bolotnik's moving his head. <laughs> Touched them with the right there, though. He did, though. He did, yeah. Unlucky there. Fell short about right hand, Bolotnik's. Good left hook to the body, Bolotnik's. Good little uh, salvo there from Bolotnik's. 
Nice uppercut by Boazzi on the inside. But Boazzi misses wildly with a left hook. Dell, he's fit as shit. Mm. This lad's fit as anything. Do you see the volume he's going with still? Yeah, it's mad. Oh, how does he stay up from that left hook by the way? Oh, my days. How did he stand up for that shit? Belotnix is hurt. I think he's hurt. Oh, he's... That was a monster left hook, man. It was. It was a good left hook there from Belotnix. Good right Ooh. hand. Body Belotniks. And again. He's a hell of a body puncher, though. Oh, down goes Belotniks. Oh. One the beautiful shot. Right hand. That's it. It's over. That's it, fellas. That's it. Buati, round 11. Bam. Right that's hand. a good, that's a great test, that is. Brilliant that's fight. A great test. Very good matchmaking. Gives us an idea. We've seen the flaws. We've seen the. He, his power's proven now, isn't it? He can go it's late. Power proven. He can he can fight. It, it, you know he he's got the gas tank to 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 do rounds in a hard fight. His power power carries. Yeah, great test, man. Still defensively a lot to do. Yeah, but um, that's a, that's the sort of fight we've been asking for for Boatsy at the end of the day. That's that's the exact fight we we've been asking for. No, he need, he needs more fights like that and a little bit levels above, like a level up. Like I don't know where to exactly go, but at the same point, that was a good test for him. Belotnix didn't have enough to give him too many problems, but enough to give him adversion, right? Then he needs a bit more adversity. So where next? Hmm. Who can give him a bit more without throwing him in the deep end? That's but at the same time. It. With the light heavyweight division, it's very hard to find that in between. You know what I mean? That's what I'm Salimov. thinking. Salamov. Salamov could be a good shout. See, people were saying Vlasov before. I still think Vlasov's no. a fight too early. Because oh, Vlasov can Vlasov can do what Kalic did, but he's six four with more power, with more experience, and more durable. He and can also skilled. he can also he can also do what Belotnik did just twenty times better. Um. I'm trying to think. Like, would you take uh, would you take a 37 year old Badu Jack? I would, but I think that could be a little bit of trouble too, because he's tough. Um, would you take a Dominic Bassell? Um, or a bit too? Is he a bit too past it? Probably too past it, yeah. That's the thing with oh, like heavyweight. I have a great one actually. What about Callum Smith? That'd be a good fight. What about Callum Smith coming up and way off of a loss? Callum Smith versus Buatzi. People will probably be like Callum Smith's too far ahead, but like Callum Smith had a tough fight with John Ryder and everything. That would be Buatzi. a good fight. Uh, yeah, I mean do you mind if we switch over to me phone real fast, though, so I can have a smoke? Yeah, I'm going to wrap this up, mate, anyway, to be honest. Oh, okay. I'm okay. going to wrap it up. We've been going for fucking hell. Yeah, if anybody's new, please subscribe to the channel here on on Blue Collar Sports TV. And also, my, my co-host of the evening, Unrivaled Boxing Talk. Excellent channel. One of the best out there. Probably the best out there. So, yeah, give him a subscription. Oh, don't, Excellent don't channel. <laughs> But yeah, man, excellent fight. As as Anthony said, excellent knockout, but it was nasty to watch. That looked awful. I hope Belotniks is okay. The way his head was thrown back looked bad. Yeah, it came out of nowhere as well, but he was kind of hurt a few about 40 seconds previous to that. So I think he was just spent. He would have probably taken that shot earlier on, but he just took so many punches. That was basically it kind of thing. But great finish by Buatsi. Uh Questions were asked. He took some punches to body and head. 11 hard rounds. That's what you want. That's ex that's exactly what you want from Boatsy. Improvements needed, of course, but listen, that's the sort of fight that's going to that's going to um that's going to uh, make improvements getting in that sort of fight. So, yeah, I I'm satisfied with that. I'm satisfied with that. Poor card, have to say, but the main event very enjoyable. Um but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. 
I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. Peace.